Hi, Kaylin. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, I have an actual clock on screen. I figured out how. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, I'm a speedrunner. Our time difference is so wild. I know, right? But at least I'm live at like a reasonable time for you, right? I mean, right now. I'm live two or three hours earlier than normal. I'm gonna become a millionaire selling stickers type one I think I can do it I hate the Instagram UI. I'm trying to post a story and add a little sticker link and it keeps putting it in the trash. So annoying. Anyway. 8.59. Oh, Megalol, I forgot to mute my phone. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> okay, it's 8.59. 8 oh my god, it's 9 o'clock. Bro, bro. Hello. Man, it's so bright in my room. Holy shit. Hello. Good morning. Should be morning for most everybody. It is 9 o'clock on the dot. You know what? I have a camera on screen today. I actually figured out a hack. Guys, write this down. Every single clock overlay I found through like Streamlabs, Stream Elements is just shit. I'm literally just capturing a live split. I just made the time in hours just my actual time, which is nine o'clock. And look at it, it's so clean. It's so clean. If I wanted to, I could put the seconds, but you know, I don't think. I don't think I should be like that aggro, you know? I don't need to be counting the seconds. You guys know the drill. Oh, so hi, Keelan. Thank you for chatting the Just Starting Soon screen. Hello. Today? 
replenish it. <laughs> I'm doing our monthly 9 to 5 stream, doing work sim games, so that way I know what it's like to have a real job, even though I've had three real jobs in the past before streaming. Today we're going to be playing Sticky Business, an indie game that I saw in the most recent Nintendo Indie Game Showcase, and it caught my little eye. So today, we're going to be playing for a full 9 to 5 shift, 8 hours straight, with a 30 minute lunch break in between. And I did read online that the average time to beat this game, the main story, is about 7 hours, so maybe we can beat this whole game today. So, everybody get your artist caps on! We're going to be opening opening an Etsy sticker shop in-game. Even though I do have my own art shop, guys, peaceinart.myshopify.com relaunch is coming soon. <laughs> Me on shift counting the seconds till I finish? Huh? Huh? <laughs> also, I did figure out the clock overlay. Look. Look, I have I have a clock here. That way VOD watchers and YouTube watchers will know what the time is throughout the day. Okay, am I ready? I think I'm ready. I think in the future <laughs> for these nine to five streams, depending on like like if I wanna do it, I think doing an opening bit, like starting stream at 8 30 and like driving to work would be really fucking funny. I mean funny. Anyway, let's open our sticker business. And I was looking at screenshots of this game, and this game has like a crazy HUD. Okay, it's insane. So like, my face cam is gonna be covering something throughout the day, but I do have different scenes. So I'll, I'll rotate around as I need to. But yeah. Let's make some money! Enter my name. My name is... Hmm, I wonder. I'm Mario Wonder. I've seen the game on TikTok and it looks cute. I haven't seen any content online about this game. The only thing I've seen is the Nintendo trailer and then also like screenshots on Twitter. But that's only when I when I like searched it. So you know that- Wait, I spelled my name wrong. First, I always forget the E. I don't know why. My name is Peason. My shop name? Wait, you guys know already. It's peaceinart.myshopify.com. Click the link in chat. Somebody... Click the link right now. Relaunch coming soon. Whenever I get kicked off of benefits, I'm re it's reopening, guys. Now, of course, since I have an IRL shop... Oh, it's giving me 25 characters. Can I put my... Can I fit my URL? <laughs> Wait, P E A C E I N A R T dot M Y S H O P I. Okay, I don't know. It might fit. I'll just put peace in art. And I was stalling. It's already nine oh five. I mean nine oh four. Peace in art. Tutorial on, of course. Day speed, normal. I, I assume we can adjust this throughout. We're in it. I'll put chat below me today. It's a robot. This is exciting news. Wait, this is so exciting. Having your own sticker shop is a dream come true. Let me show you around. This is your desk. Here you will find everything you need to run your shop. Oh, he's a printer, not a robot. Let's move to the creative corner and design a sticker to put into your shop. Oh, cute. Of course, I gotta go with the cat. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I have to open the option menu. <laughs> oh, that's layers. Okay.
Gay cat. <laughs> You know, Pride Month is coming upon us. It is May now, officially. How do I move it? Am I unable to move it once I place it? I'm so bad. I'm grabbing. Okay, I might be DOM, but I can't figure out how to move it once I place it. I did it before. Oh, well, that's increasing the taper line. I personally, I hate when stickers have the white border. If I ever do stickers, which I probably will for a long time, I want clear borders. I don't care if they cost more, I'm doing it. Hi, Electra, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Everybody clock into work. You're late. Look, it's nine o'clock already. Ew, black borders? Ew. Traffic was bad. I know, man. The walk from my bed to my desk took forever this morning. <laughs> You know what? I'm clueless. I think I think this is good. Gay cat. Name your sticker. Cat gauge. Cage. That. That doesn't sound right. What if I just call it gay cat? <laughs> Wait! No! 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 We we can't be saying gay. It's called Pride Cat. You know, gay used to be a slur. Also, whenever you're naming your art pieces, keep it simple. Because you want people to be able to search and find your products. So, like, if you just put keywords as your title, you're set. And that's our first sticker. Let's clock over here and we'll show you how much time you have left today. Rating stickers, printing, packing, and sending will take time. Always keep an eye on it. Now that your sticker is online and ready for the world to see, let's wait until tomorrow to see if we get some orders. Man, day one, easy peasy. Day one, zero cents, zero open, zero failed, zero late. Oh no, I can fail in the game? Uh-oh. I have no money! Exciting news. You received your first order. Yay. Before you can send out these stickers, you need to arrange them on a sticker sheet and get them ready for printing. Take your time to arrange them with care, making sure they fit just right on the sheet. Ain't no way! Thank you for the tier 1 Emmy. 26 months? Holy moly. Wait, guys, Emmy has a sticker shop. Like, in real life. Can we get some Wemmies in chat? Thank you, hon. <laughs> I'm at work right now, but the boss is working from home, so that means I can watch Twitch. Let's freaking go. Working on the company time. Hi, Emmy. I'm actually live super early. We can spend the whole workday together. I'm not to be weird. Oh, I only, I only have white paper. Sick. Monka W. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <laughs> it costs $10 for one sheet of paper? That better be 10 cents. Oh no. Um 
Oops. Shit. Now we go back. Yeah! Min maxing! I don't- this is not gonna look good. That's so gonna get jammed in the printer. Like when I cut them. Printing costs 10. Okay, so it costs 10 per sheet. So obviously you're incentivized to make as many as you can fit on the sheet. That's like obvious. Print. Cute. Wait, I don't need to print more. Oh, you can save them. Oh, okay. Now you have printed your stickers. It's time to pack up those orders. From Julia Klein. At Cutie Julie. Hey, Peason. It's me, Julia Klein. You have a sticker shop? That's amazing. When we meet up next time, you must absolutely tell me all about it. Will we meet up next time? Are they grocery stocking me? Uh-oh. Ain't no way. Thank you for the 15 months, Keelan. Ain't no 26, but 15 is still wild. Guys, you know, Keelan's been a sub the whole time that I've been watching. I appreciate your support, Keelan. Can we get some wheelins in chat? Thank you, Keelan. Also, pause. If we have one more bit tier, one more tier one, or a free prime sub, we'll get a hype train. Guys, can we do it? But thank you, Keelan. Oh, wait, I don't even have to cut the scissors? That's amazing. Okay, there's an option to put paper in the box. Now, controversial. I think it's really dumb whenever somebody buys, like, a 4x6 box to put stickers in. To me, it's such a waste of packaging. If you're gonna mail stickers to people, just do an envelope. The only reason why you need a, a cardboard box is if you're mailing something slightly 3D, like maybe buttons or pins, because those are harder to fit in an envelope and they usually have a sharper edge, so you don't want to put that in an envelope. Why am I- Dude, I'm, I'm literally using a 4x6 to put three stickers in. Like, I understand you want to be an aesthetic early, but guys, don't be wasting your money on packaging this early on when you're just starting out. Also, it's it's a waste, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, back to work. And filling? You do not need- Okay, the whole purpose of putting filling in a package is for cushion. You do not need cushion for stickers. I hate this. I hate this! Okay, but green's my favorite color. I have to hold A and drag. I don't press A. Colourless! Okay, me meticulously placing these only to the, for them to get jumbled in the mail. You know, I, I know some people who work for, like, mailing servicers. I'm not going to say what. But you know they'll be throwing your boxes. I can guarantee they're throwing it. They're kicking it. They just got to make sure they're off the cameras. Okay, we're in. I'm, I'm, the, the time is still going. <laughs> um, I think this is good. Easy. Plus one. You have packed all your orders for today. Let's go back and bring them to the post office. Now it's time to bring your carefully packed order to the post office. Your first customer is already eagerly waiting. Oh, that was quick. But with that, your first order is on the way. This is just the beginning of your very own small business. Now go ahead and create the sticker shop of your dreams. Less than three. Okay, this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Can I go to bed? No, I ended the day, shit. <laughs> Honestly, this is what I would do. Wake up, pack the order, go back to bed. This is like my day to day. This is so realistic. One failed? No! <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh no! Wait, I have four messages from Julia. Oh no, she's so mad. Oh, they're from different people, thank god. Oh my god. <laughs> She got so mad at him, mail her package. I do feel. How do I go back? <laughs> okay, it's not reading out your message, but the Smoogle review said absolutely horrible. Shut up, man. I thought I fixed GTS. I'm gonna scream. You're supposed to give it out of stars, Electra. Get it right. Okay. I'm confused still. How do I go back? I wanna go home. <laughs> Shop. You don't have any packages at the moment. Oh, I can receive mail too. Okay. Honey pot? Hey, yo. Should I go back to bed again? <laughs> okay, I have $90. It's probably best if I. Wait, I'm trapped in this menu. Dude, this HUD is so difficult, I swear to God. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Make sure to clock in now. Okay. Who knew running my own business could be so difficult? Okay, genuinely, I'm I'm fucking stuck in the menu. I'm pressing B. Am I dumb? I, I Oh, okay, I pressed plus and it reset it, thank god. Upgrades. I wonder if there's a mechanic to where, like, you can actually draw your own, like, pixel art. Otherwise, this feels like I'm stealing art. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... Wait, this game is woke. What the hell? What is all this junk? Guys, I do have LGBTQIA tag. Don't worry. Have no fear. Peace in us here. Oh, is that what the autism flag looks like? I know it was like rainbow. Disability pride? You know, I gotta start rocking that vlog apparently. Sapphic? Okay, I I know Arrow Ace. You know polyamory had a flag. I am very concerned that the colors are similar to the bi flag, which a lot of people just assume bisexual people are cheaters, which... Not true. Dude, that's what my mom said. That was like the second thing she asked me. When I came out. First was, have you had threesomes? Next, have you ever cheated? I'm like, what the hell? You're like the people on Redbubble just using Google Images and seven selling them as stickers? Dude, I know, right? Wait, is this game anti-art? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Neil pronoun. Okay, I can figure out what that means. I've never seen sapphic. Let's do a little bit of learning. What is sapphic? Sapphic pride meaning. Sapphic refers to femmes attracted to other femmes, whether they identify as lesbian, bi, queer, trans, mask, or any diverse identity. Falling within same-sex attractions. Okay. I learned something today. So it's kind of like girlies liking girlies. <laughs> <clears throat> How do I unlock bi? <laughs> That's the only one I want. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, I under 
understand the HUD now! I have to use the directional pad to switch between. Okay, this HUD is a little bit confusing, but you know what? I'll get it. We're playing this for eight hours today. We're already 20 minutes in, and I've only done one order. <laughs> okay, I should get to work. Oh, different people want a different amount of stickers. Okay. I've already mailed them to Julia. She wants nine more? Nine more, I guess. Okay, do I have to put paper and filling in? I'll be honest, I don't want to put that fluff in. But you know what? I'll do it for the fans. Oh, I can't put no packaging. Okay. You don't need packaging. It's such a waste. I wish I could put a little note in. Pack. Easy. You know, I'm probably saving so much money by not putting in packaging. Uh oh I'm running out of stickers. So it's probably in my best interest to, like, maybe print two sheets of each at a time. And go from there. I want to know what they're doing with all these gay cast stickers. I think they're doing graffiti. But you know what? I love it. I personally am a huge fan of graffiti. I've said this many times. Like, if people loved where they lived, then they wouldn't do graffiti. More often than not, they do not graffiti on top of actual good graffiti or good art that they see on the street. I say they should go for it. We gotta print more. It's so cute. How does it take like 10 minutes to make one sheet of paper? That's so silly. I think I should try and make one new sticker every day. That way there's new drops for all my potential customers. Because I think whatever... Okay, I'm not a business connoisseur. But I know, like, a little bit. The, the huge thing that I try to focus on in my head is target audience. I think a lot of people go into selling stickers and not understanding their target audience. Because if you think about it, the normal consumer will buy stickers as a decorative item, right? They're not going to use it for crafting. There's not a lot of people who will buy a 1x2 inch sticker for crafting. So those 1x2 stickers that you're selling is for... Is for like decorative. So people put it on like their binders, their folders, their water bottles. And if you think about it, those items have limited amount of space. So you, it's very difficult to have people coming back to buy more and more stickers from you unless they genuinely like the piece. So, I think stickers is very difficult to get into because it's very competitive. There's, because it's one of the easiest things to produce on your own, but people have to pick and choose what they want to, because they have limited space on where they put the stickers. That's why like, if you're gonna sell art, just sell art. Don't dive right into selling a consumable product. Anyway, that's why I don't want to do stickers. Um, wait, do I have banana? Wait, I want to do a monkey and banana.
There's no monkey. I can't change- I want to be able to change the colors. Oh my god, I'm wasting so much time making stickers. I'm looking at the clock. I've spent like four hours doing this in-game. <laughs> now, what is a cat's best friend? I'm looking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The flower is kind of cute. Let me cook. Let me cook. Lining up very well. He's in a field of flowers. Okay, wait, this is actually kind of cute. Actually, I'm gonna put a border on it. Now it's done. I wish I could change the other border. Like, if I could do like a blue border on this, or maybe like an off white because the cat itself is white. Oh, cute! Cat in flower field. Man, this would be so much easier to play on like a computer, but it's me on my Switch. Wait, I'm kind of liking this game. <laughs> I thought it would be bad, but I kind of like it. You know what else I like? New followers. Because, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream of my 9 hour, I mean, 8 hour shift. So, you know what? Click follow so you can hang on all day. Cat in flower field. Nice. Okay, let's get to pack it. June Evans. These are some nice stickers you have there. Dude, imagine getting like five orders on day two. That's crazy. No filling, because I love the earth. You've packed all your orders for today. Let's go back and bring them to the post office. Easy. Okay, so it's probably the best line to do every day is pack any orders at the start of the day, mail them, and then work on creating stickers, because I wasted, okay, not wasted, because I made art. I made a beautiful cat in a flower field sticker. The best line, pack your orders for the day. Oh, no, maybe print at the start of the day. No, 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 print at the end, unless you need more stock. Review orders, print. mail create new sticker and then on to the next day i think that's the best line i'll have upgrades i want 
to get different colors. Five shop slots? What does that mean? Five? Oh, like item quantity? Oh, no. I just want to have like a million stickers. Ooh. And y'all. Oh, so these are the actual sticker colors and then border colors. Shimmery paper? Oh no, I'm liking this game. Broody paper? Ray oh my god, rainbow paper? I'm such a sucker for like pride shit. Oh, people probably love the holiday paper. I can put candy? Oh wow. Oh wait, are these things that I can sell? I'm just gonna become a dropshipper, that's what I'll do. If stickers don't work, dropshipping it is. I mean, I cannot wait till I get more money in game. I think I'll do like a week of orders and then I'll start buying stuff. Oh, those are upgrades. Okay. I do have a limited number of slots. Six cents? That's wild. Yeah, should I should I should work on just making a bunch of stickers. You know what? Let's go to bed. I don't have much time in the day. I worked very hard today. Day three. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally skipped day two. <laughs> Okay, so I gain XP based on how much people like the sticker. So the more I sell, the more XP and rating I get for said sticker. So I should probably work on getting stickers to like 5 star rating and then swap them out for the next design. Nice. Okay, I got it. I have my line. Four new orders! Holy... inventory quantity. Wait, bunny number 60? Hell yeah. So I, I guess I should see my inventory number before I print. They should have the inventory number in the printer room. That would make so much sense. Okay. Patrick K. Patrick is here. I was looking for animal stickers and wanted to give them to a friend who is not feeling very well at the moment. I think your stickers might cheer him up. Best Patrick. Yeah, don't you worry, Patrick. Coming right up, sir. No paper, no filling, because I love the earth. Robert Frey, at Be Free. Looking at your cute plant sticker really cheered me up. You know, right now, everything seems kind of bad. I truly needed this. Thank you. Oh. Sad. Don't worry, man. I'll cheer you up. I don't have any candy. Shoot. You know what? I'm gonna buy some candy. We're gonna put some little goodies in their boxes. I'll 
see if I can buy some candy now, actually. What would a vampire like? Let's do a chewy. in his day. From Charlotte Cook. Charlotte Charlotte. <laughs> Three cat stickers. Man, that one candy costs like $15 or 15 coins. I'll only give people candy if they say they're sad. Otherwise, I'll wait till I have like a lot of money and then I'll buy a bunch of candy. From Anthony Wilson. Four pride cats. One cat in a field. I actually love my cat in the field sticker. I love it so much. It's so cute. Guys, should I go back to art school? <laughs> All our orders done for the day. Yes, sir. Man, I'm so good at this. Now let's get to crafting. Hmm. I definitely like the look of the fully composed stickers. I think that's where my strengths are. I don't want any of this self-love bullshit. I don't like stickers that have words. I think they're very cringe. Visualize how I can make a, comp a, a composition of my head. Wait, I'm running out of time. Oh no. The clock is ticking. I'll do one more with the cat. Let's do cat in a bowl. is not good. The focus is going to be the cup, not the cat in this composition. here on the bottom didn't curve up as much. 
Now let me duplicate it. No. Damn. I gotta do that all over again. <laughs> not the cat hair and coffee? No, that's not what this is. It's... There's some latte places where you can get, like, foam animals on the cup. It's pretty sick. I promise you, this is gonna be a, a big seller. Okay, that's as symmetrical as I'm gonna get it. It's not perfectly centered though, unfortunately. as close as I'm gonna get it. The masterpiece is complete. We're gonna name this one Coffee Cat. Like Coffee Cat, but Coffee. I'll print tomorrow. Fine, I'll go to bed. I'm not gonna spend my entire day and night working away. Four orders sent, zero failed. Oh, I can't. Oh, you get XP for like actual element within the sticker based on if you sell it or not. Okay. Got it. I got it now. Day four complete. I have 112 coins. Only two orders? I'm a failure. Wait, nobody's buying my pride cats. I have 65 of them. Oh no. Oh no, nobody's buying my Pride Cat stickers. Maybe because it's so bad. Okay, I should probably only print one page of each. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I have so many! <laughs> uh... Man, this guy wants eight stickers? He doesn't need that many. <laughs> nah, I'm not giving him that many extra. You get more XP. No, I'm not generous like that. Dang, only two orders. But you know what that means? More time to actually make art. And that's what me as an artist has to do.
This might be the most basic design. But you know what? I think it's gonna hit. Wait, Apple. For the teachers. But the teacher is the cat. He's gonna have a tiny apple. with the cat though that looks so bad actually <laughs> just th the size jump tiny huge you know what I think this design is gonna resonate with the teachers studious cat And the joke is, is that he's sleeping instead of studying. Duties, cat. Oh, the day's over. Well, time to go to bed. Two orders sent, zero failed. Plus fifty dollars. Three new orders. Finally, somebody bought my Pride Cat. Okay, so I gotta print one of everything but Pride Cat. Oh, this is gonna get confusing whenever I have like a huge inventory. Now that I think about it, but you know what? It's fine. I'm a girl boss, and I know what I'm doing. Oop. <laughs> Just one in the corner. <laughs> Everything's printed for the day. Oh, I can't change the price. They should let me do sales. Let's be honest, my stickers freaking bang, okay? They look sick as fuck. I love the cat in the flower field. It's such a good composition. I don't know when I would use that sticker though, like honestly. But it's a good call. Guys, I went to art school. I think the first thing I want to do is increase my store inventory slots. $150? Easy peasy. Yeah, I want a huge store inventory. That is what I- that is the goal. Because, to me, whenever a store has a larger inventory, it shows that the- the shop, in- in any context, is willing to invest money in their products. The only time having a large catalog is bad is if you're running a restaurant, because since those are products that will expire, if you have too many ingredients in your kitchen, they will go bad if you don't sell it all. But for non, but for products that do not expire, have a huge inventory. Have a huge inventory and have a rotating inventory. Like have like maybe 70% of your stock be all year round and then 25% have seasonal products. 
Oh, I wonder what time it is in game. Like, time of the year? Enough yapping, let's get to what? Sophia Lee wants two teas, two prides, two books, one flower in a field. I don't need to package it. I could just get that stuff, I think. From Charlotte Cook. Love the shop. Why, thank you. From Kaden Lewis. Basil. Man, is I'm not gonna have enough time of the day, like, if I have, like, 20 orders in a day. That's gonna be bad. People are gonna be sad. Now, my favorite time of the day, making art. Oh my god, Pride? <laughs> oh my god, Pride Cat is flopping? You know, I don't think people want to be woke. But you know what? I'll be woke for the greater good. Maybe if I make another Pride one, people won't think that I'm a fraud. I have to do a different flag. Wait, I already have the buy flag. Ain't no way. Yo. I have an idea. Wait, my idea might not work. <laughs> I had an idea. Wait, let me cook, let me cook. I wish I could, like, rock some of the images. I wanted to make this, like, a flagpole. This would've worked. But you know what? It's that time of the day. We are an hour into stream, an hour to my shift. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your copy and get ad free viewing all month long. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Is it kind of bad that, like, I want to, like, break up my sketchbook and, like, kind of actually sketch out what I'm thinking? But I, you guys can, like, figure out what I'm trying to go for here. I just need to unlock a rectangle shape, and then we can do this pride design. But for now, I'll put it on the back burner. Oh, I, I said I was going to do pride stuff. Looking at my base shapes, wait, you know what, for for this scene, when I'm making stickers, I'll do face cam top left. You just have to remind me to change it back. That way you guys can actually see the shapes that I'm working with. When I do any type of design, I always look at base shape within the composition, and then finer details first. So as I'm looking through all of these base pictures, I'm trying to see what shapes would go well together. You know what? Cat in a pot. We're 
We're going back to the flowers and cats theme. But this time, he's gonna be behind the flowers. And then in front of some of them. Oh, I don't like how the leaf is touching the ear. The alignment is not good on this one. You know what? I'll work with it. Okay, yeah, that's kind of cute. is too big see the size difference between smallest and second smallest is insane it increases by literally like 100 percent the jump right here is maybe like 25 percent but from here to here that's 100 percent size increase there should be one more size in between uh devs get on it Gotta go with this shape. I'm like taking this too seriously. <laughs> I'm, I'm tryharding. I just want to make good art. I gotta flip this flower. I don't like how the leaf is sticking out. There we go. Now the thing with like sticker designs is that you don't necessarily have to put a lot of detail. It's primarily about silhouette. Yeah, the main thing with stickers is silhouette. Like the actual shape and form it has. Actually, I don't want to put a design on the pot, I don't think. Yeah, the pot doesn't need a design. It don't need it. My fourth masterpiece is complete. Cat. In. Oops. I want to, like, put a cat in a cooking pot. Because then it'd be like that Smosh video, Cat Soup. Cat in Flower Pot. Oh, I can maybe print now. I have a little bit of time left in the day. Now I'm out of time. A 
good day. I got a lot done. Day six. Three orders sent. Zero failed. Sixty-six dollars. Let's go. Three new orders. Dawn at Witchflower. Hey there, I'm Dawn, smiley face. I normally don't write any messages, but I finally found a sticker shop with reasonable prices and pride themes. Yo! They're woke. My bullet journal for my biology studies will look much better. They want eight pride stickers? Yo, that's pretty good. You know, it might not be bad appeasing to the woke mob. From Caden Chavez. Two pride stickers. Three cat and a pot. Or Tika. You know what? My cat pride stickers are going crazy. From Isaiah Morgan. Four cat and a fields. One cat and a Tika. And four cat and a flower pot. Fossil. Man, I bet this game is going to get difficult whenever I have a lot more orders to process. So I think for now I need to focus in on making as many designs as I can. That way I have a rotating guaranteed inventory made. Oops, I don't want to create. shapes. I guess it's like a background image. I think my goal is to do five designs for every animal. That's my goal today, which there is a lot of animals. I did get the DLC version because it was discounted when this game came out. It was only $2 more. I was like, why not? So the DLC came with like almost like 25% more base sticker designs you could do. So I have a lot to comb through. Hats and clothes. More animals, but they're cute animals. The cute lion looks like a guy you see at a circus. A clown. Oh, okay. You need to gain XP, and then you can get the sticker. I'm not- I'm not buying any of these words. I'm not doing it. Food? I love food. Look at me. Cat and a cone! Cat and a cone! I'm buying it. Oh. I'm looking at my backpack. When I bought that ice cream cone base, my backpack space went up. So that probably means I can only have a limited amount of inventory. Like sticker options. Oh no. Uh oh. Cat in a cone. Cat in a cone. I'm getting sprinkles. I have an idea and I'm gonna cook. Cat and a cone, cat and a cone. Lavender? Cat on a toadstool. Cat cactus. Wait, I just- I think I'm just gonna make my shop all cat designs. No! No! I don't know. I don't know how much time I'll- how much I can genuinely get done in eight hours. Oh, 
I need the rainbow. I need it. We gotta get the Tumblr galaxy background. My goodness, there's so many different options. Cat Cauldron. I'm running out of love. But not for this game. I actually love this so much. I thought I would not enjoy this, but I, I'm kind of liking this a lot. A tarot cup? <gasps> I think I'll hold on changing colors. I just want to use the base shapes. I want to focus on unlocking more of those first. I bet if I get the shimmery paper, I can charge more. I'm gonna unlock the other cat. I want that pose. I'll save up my money to unlock more shop slots. Yeah, I've done a lot of shopping. Let's get to Creighton. Now what's kind of nice about these two cat designs is that they have flat bases. So you can kind of work with more like geometric shapes and compositions versus the other animals which have more round and organic shapes. I'm gonna start with this base cat. You know what's actually kind of sick? Since this cat design is more round, it's an ice cream cone. I'm cooking. Sprinkles? Ah, uh, that looks kind of weird. The speckles? I, I think if I rotate this, it would look a little bit better. It makes it look messy. I personally love a clean aesthetic. I think the sprinkles ain't it. You know what's simple? Cat and a cone. Cat cone. Another masterpiece. Let's make one more, I got time. I like the look. Of the pop designs. A little bit of asymmetry is always good. Okay, the cat is too big that you can't tell it's a pot anymore.
This cactus is gonna have a flower. Three quarter turn flower. I grabbed the wrong plant. I'm trying to, cause there's a lot of empty space here. If I had a sun, maybe I can make a sun. Man, if I just had skinny rectangles, I can make a sun. Uh, if I could change the color of this. Did I next out of it? I meant to go to the store, man. I'm broke. Okay, well we'll put a we'll put a pin in the cactus idea. I think what I had was a good base composition to start off with. Cone. Okay, so I guess the only thing I have time for now is printing. L. Honestly. Cat and a cone. Wow, this fits so many. Oops, shit. <laughs> I mean, shoot. There we go. I'm gonna double check my inventory to see how much I have. I think I should try to make sure I have at least 20 of every sticker because there's some people who order like eight of each. Yeah, so I need to print more of the cat and flower pot. After a long, hard day's work, it's time for bed. The order sent, zero failed. Man, everybody loves the pride stickers now. I love being woke. Hannah Scott at Blink Blink. Hello! Just bought some stickers and I'm super excited to get them. 
I hope they're not too big. Uh-oh. I have to hide them from my sister, Alex. She just snatches everything I buy from herself and tries to copy me. You know what? I think... You should share some with your sister and not be mean. Man, they bought eight. That's so many. Elliot Adams wants six cat teacups. Aiden Scott. I have to tell my friends about your shop. Why, thank you. Wow, they bought almost one of everything. They must be a huge fan. From Daniel Harris. One pride cat. Two cat books. One cat and a cone. One cat tea. You packed all your orders for today. Fossil. Man, that took half my day. Sheesh. Wait, I think my store is glitched. It's not letting me scroll. Okay, now it's unglitched now. I'm saved. I want to buy this light blue. I'll have it for later. some shimmery paper. Congratulations on your first glitter paper. With this addition, you can now create new stickers that shimmer and shine. Just remember, when printing your stickers, only stickers used in the same paper can be printed on the same sheet. Oh. Okay, so that means people can... If I choose a listing that has shimmer paper, it can only be made with shimmer paper. If people want a non-shimmer, I have to sell a separate item in the shop. Hmm. Okay. I'll just- I'll- I'm not gonna make anything for Shimmer unless I, like, have the money. I can't see the cost unless I have a new item. That's fine. Let's get to craft and- Oh, it does save my work. That's so good. Now we change the color. Oh, I had to scroll up. Blue. There we go. Perfect, it's so cute. I'm gonna move the cactus a little bit to the left, that way it's night. It's not right up against the edge. Cute! Cat. Hyphen. U.S. Cat. Does. In the sun. Man, I'm so good at this. No, my screen froze. It's fine. 
The only thing I don't like about playing with the capture card is that sometimes my TV screen just goes black. It doesn't affect the actual stream. It just goes poof. Cat in the sun. Or cat, catus in the sun. You know what? Let's do this on shimmery paper. Why not? It's in the sun. Animation? Oh my god. Love it. Does it sell for more? It doesn't sell for jack shit more. Okay, looking at the prices of everything. It doesn't sell for that much more. I'm scamming myself. Well, it's fine. It's only selling for like a coin more than the cat and flower field. Hmm. No sé, pero está bien. Vamos a print. Oh, the animation is so cool. It's subtle, but it's nice. I bet people are gonna go crazy for cat to in the sun. Man, I have to basically print more of everything except for cat and flower pot. I'll print one more. And the day's done. Wait, can I do one more? I broke! <laughs> oh no, that's so bad. Uh-oh. Four orders sent, zero failed. I'm broke. I'm probably gonna run out of stickers tomorrow, depending on what people order. Oh, I have so many, thank god. Thank goodness. Five orders, the most I've had in a day. Holy moly. From Bernard S. At Bernard S. My friend Patrick showed me your shop. Right now, everything is just so exhausting. That's why Patrick bought me stickers to cheer me up. Stickers are a nice distraction, but I need to finish three projects next week. He has a gay mohawk. That is so sick. I'm jealous. You know who else is getting jelly? The non-followers. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes on the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to dive in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Follow now. And you know what? I'll give you a free sticker when my shop opens. Yes, sir. Easy. From Daisy at Artsy Fartsy. I've been looking for a cute sticker shop. I love your stickers, especially Cat and Flower Field. Thank you. One of my favorites, too. I hope they make my notebook a bit more fun so that I don't have to forget the homework. Wait. I hope they make my notebook a bit more fun so that I don't forget the homework for my art uni, which happens quite often. Boo woo face. Grinch. June Evans. I printed way too many on my pride cat. And it's like the shittiest design, too. <laughs> I kind of want to remove it from the shop, but you know, I gotta appease the woke mom. I have to keep it in inventory. From Ryder Carter. Easton Jones. People love the flower designs.
I'm running out of time to actually design. I just need more time in the day. Let's get to arting. I want to do something with the cauldron. I don't like the mushroom. The only thing I see fitting theme wise is the bone. Actually, I hate all this. I don't think I have enough elements for the cauldron, and it's not like the time of year for like Halloween. You know what? I should make another pride one. Hmm. It doesn't really fit with the, the rectangle. The rectangle shape is too much. We're appeasing to the librarians? Rainbow Book.
Wait, I kind of like this. The slightly askew rainbow. I like it. The rainbow almost lines up with the back of the cat's butt. <laughs> the back of the cat. <laughs> There we go, that, that lines up a bit better. A nice semicircle. I kinda like this. If you can't tell, I like making shapes out of smaller shapes. Wait. Cat in a rainbow cone. Books are lame. I hate librarians. Wait. Wrong one. Now it'll look like a, a shave ice cone. See, the, the size jump is crazy here. I need one in between. A shave ice cone. I'm committing. Name your sticker? Cat? Shave ice. I don't want to call it pride. Because I already have a pride sticker. Even though I, I kind of want to remove the pride sticker that I made at the start of the game. It's, it's lame. It's because I didn't know how to move the elements around. That's why it looks dumb. Cat shave ice. And we'll do it on shimmer paper because it's rainbow. Very nice. Let's print this bad boy. Ooh, I can only have nine per sheet. Ooh. You know, women be shopping. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna work first on getting all these colors, possibly. 
Because I don't necessarily need more elements yet. Because I, you know, I'm I'm set with the cat elements for now. But wait, actually, I had an idea for the bow tie. I want to do a. I want to do that with a bow tie on a cone. That was an idea I had. I guess I should only buy sticker elements whenever I, like, have an idea and then I want to buy it. Otherwise, I'll work towards getting... I have an idea. Wait, I kind of want all these faces. <laughs> I lied, peace and lied. Cause I like the ice cream cone. Cause you can you can make different shapes, like different ice cream cone shapes with just circles and squares. And then you just put a little cute face on it. Ooh. I wanna see if there is like an oval shape. Give me an oval, give me an oval. But mine is gonna work. could work too, like little pluses for cheeks. I can make an ice cream face with sprinkles as the freckles. Oh my god. I want the minus, that way I can make little blush lines. And then hearts. I'm buying it. I said I wouldn't buy anything, but I'm buying them. <laughs> oh no, I just realized I didn't buy the, the colors to change the shape colors. No! No, I can't make it because I don't have enough love. Well. And I can only buy sticker designs with love. Shit. Candy when I have money. I gotta save my moolah for now. My sticker lineup is pretty good though. Let's be honest. It's pretty banging. Okay, another dollar. Uh, or another day, another dollar. I'm loving this so far. <laughs> day nine. Five orders sent, zero failed. Five more orders, okay. From Robert Frey. At Be Free. You know how I told you that everything seems bad? Well, it got even worse. No, I gave him candy, it didn't work. My boss fired my best work buddy. I'll need a lot of plant stickers before I can muster up the courage to quit. Do you plan to make more plant stickers? Okay. We need to make him more plant stickers. We need to. I'll write down. And whenever somebody makes a request, I'll do it. More plant stickers. Oh, it's true. He's only buying stickers that have plant elements in them. Okay, so I bet whenever I have different sticker types, it'll attract new customers. Which makes sense. Alex Guy, new customer. At Blunk Blunk. Hey, I just saw some awesome stickers on my sister Hannah's cell phone and absolutely need them for myself. I sneaked into her room and found her shop name. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's pretty cool. From Julia Klein. At Cutie Julie. Hey again, Peason. I'm absolutely in love with the Cat in the Flower Pot sticker. Remember my stationery collection back in the day? Well, it has only grown since you graduated, and your stickers are perfect for it. Oh, why, thank you. Nobody's buying my... My cat shave ice. I work so hard on them. 
from James Adams. Yeah, bought it finally. From Nova Myers. All the orders are done. Man, I'm speedrunning. I'm gonna make one more design today, and I think the next in game I have to print because I'm running out of time. I want to make the ice cream cucumber, so I need to buy pink. Candy pink, perfect. Let's get to making. So Oh my god. <laughs> there's gotta be a copy button. No, there's not. They need to add a copy button. It would make symmetry so much easier. The ears would look good with like a very soft pastel pink. Uh, should I wait for the soft pastel pink? I kind of want to wait till I unlock soft pastel pink. Oh wait, I was going to do sprinkles as the blush. I'm like dialed in. I'm leaning forward in my chair. <laughs> oh, that's too small. We need a size in between devs.
cute. I definitely... I want to make the hearts the pastel pink. I don't want to put this on the shelves yet. I'm just seeing how the bow looks. Because this was another idea I had. That looks kind of cute. Frog cone. Whenever I'm done with the cat meta, I'll make that. Okay, I think the rest of this day in game, I'm going to print stickers so that way I'm ready for the next day. And then start it tomorrow. I will unlock the pastel pink because the dark pink is not it. It's close, but not it. So let's get to printing! After I see my inventory. Oh, I need like one of everything. Two shave ice cones. time. Well, the shimmer paper only costs like five cents more. That's not bad. I thought it'd be a lot more. Another day, another dollar. Oh my gosh, I have so much love. Very good day. Wait, I failed an order? What? No. I mailed everything? Fuck. I'm gonna get a horrible smuggle review now. No. What? Thank you for the two gifted, Alex. What the hell? Thank you. I appreciate that. Can we get some Waluxes in chat? Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Sorry, why am I saying oh no? Thank you for another two gifted. Thank you. Can we get some more Waluxes in chat? Thank you, Alex. Thank you. One went to Goss. They're in chat. Cool. Thank you. Wait, that's your first gifted for the month. You should probably get some extra channel points for that. Thank you, Alex. Wait, just so you know, we're not playing Pokemon today. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> oh wait, Alex. If you want a sketch card for March, you can still send a picture if you want it. But thank you, I really appreciate it. We hit our sub goal in a way. You know what I'll do? I'll drink some water. Usually, whenever we hit our daily sub goal, we do a sub only stream, but I'm, all, I'm already streaming till 5 today, so like. I'll do an extra sub only stream. Ooh. Tomorrow I have to edit. I will chat an extra sub only stream day to be determined. But thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Now I can stretch. Okay. Wait, it's May 1st. I get my paycheck today, too. It was so funny. I had to go to the bank with my sister yesterday, and there was like 20 people waiting in line. And she had to get like a few things printed, because she had to get checks printed, so like she took forever. <laughs> and there's like more and more people like waiting in line behind us, and she looks at me, she's like, why is it so busy, piece of? Because she, she, never, she never does errands herself, because usually I do it for her. And she, I'm like, dude, 
it's the last of the month. People are paying their rent and shit. And she's like, oh. <laughs> and she was still taking her sweet ass time at the counter. Man, so silly. Okay, back to work. From Robert Frey at Be Free. I love your new sticker, Cactus in the Sun. Thank you. I love that sticker too. And you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'll quit my job tomorrow. No, don't do it. Don't do it. If you quit your job, you're not gonna have money to buy my stickers. But also, if you hate your job, um, do it. He did say that his job fired his work bestie, so... I think he's quitting in solidarity. From Julia Klein, at Cutie Julie. Hey again, Peason. I am absolutely in love with the cat in the flower pot sticker. Remember, remember my stationery collection back in the day? Well, it has only grown since you graduated, and your stickers are perfect for it. Why, thank you. Man, I ain't ever running out of these stupid pride stickers. Why did I print so many? I'm clueless. From Anthony Wilson to Pride, one cat in the sun, and three snow cones. Also notice how I'm not giving people extra stickers. I appreciate whenever I get goodies in a package, but I'll be honest, I don't like extra stickers. I feel bad. I feel like I'm stealing. Or that somebody packages it wrong, like, by accident. If you're gonna give away free stickers, give away stickers that are like branding, or like your logo or something. Like, don't be giving away your inventory, in my opinion. I know stickers are cheap, but like, if you're gonna give shit away for free, oh no, I don't know, I don't know. You know what I do know though? It <laughs> is that it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free Prime sub available. Do it now. Click subscribe. We're two hours into my shift, and honestly, it does not feel like it's been two hours. I like this game a lot so far. I know it's not super engaging, but like, actually making the designs is really fun. So I'm gonna make a new sub goal. Let's make it a milli. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Guys, can we hit a milli? <laughs> See, I have so much time. Oh, I gotta mail my packages. I still have no clue why I failed an order yesterday. That was upsetting. Like, genuinely. First, I'm gonna finish my cute cone. So, I'm going to buy... My store is glitched. I'm going to buy a light rose. It's glitched again. There we go. Bubblegum. No, I misclicked. Fuck. <laughs> no, I wanted bubblegum. God damn it. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Like I said, I should probably prioritize getting different colors first. And it seems like I get about like 30 to 60 hearts per day, so I'm just gonna work on- uh, I don't have enough love. Every day I'm just gonna gradually buy more colors. Silly me, I'm broke.
I should probably get different patterned paper to match the sticker theme. Now what matches ice cream? Snowflakes. I love how there's like also not a bud to not a button to confirm my purchase. If I misclick, I'm cooked. I just have to buy it. You know what? It's fine. Customize. Oh, I can change my shop color. Cute. Uh, let's do hearts because I love love. I wish there was a way to like edit my old designs. Because I think, or I assume how this game will work, is once it's listed in your shop, you can't edit it. But you know what? I'm going to try unlisting it. There's no edit button. Okay, so once I publish a design, I can't edit it. That's kind of a bummer. Like, I wish I could go back to the ice cream cone designs and then add the snowflake shimmer. I guess I could just remake them, but that seems like... Wasting time. Hmm. It, it's, it's okay. You know, it also makes sense to not change, like, an OG design, now that I think about it. It's fine, it's aight. I don't care. But, like, I actually do care a lot. I have a decent inventory. Let's make some more stickers! Man, I love this so much. We're gonna change these hearts to a very faint pink. Adorable. Oh, look at that. Such a huge difference. That color palette looks a lot more inviting. Cute! What should I name it? Cute cone! <laughs> And it's gonna be on Frosty Sparkles because it's ice cream. Ooh, I wanna make one more design. That way we have two more for the shop tomorrow. It would be cool if I could like change the transparency of some of these images. Like how sick would it be if I made like a pride fish tank. Like, if I used a base square shape and then did a rainbow lower opacity over it. I'm just thinking, like, how I would operate in, like, Photoshop right now. Or Illustrator. Like, how you can cut and mask and crop. That's what I'm thinking, but... Obviously, like, this, this sticker making tool is pretty good for what it is. But I just want to, like, make it in Photoshop now. <laughs> I need to gravitate away from the cones. I think I have like three cone designs. I want to like make a fish tank. Okay, I know this is a pride flag. Okay, I know. But picture this. Okay, 
cactus. And we're gonna reflect this. Because this is our ground. We're gonna add a sun. Cactus. Bird sitting on cactus arm. Okay. E It's a happy cactus. Or it's a happy sun. <laughs> no, I hate it. I hate it. I think it would be really fun to like design like national park logos or patches, like the so on or iron on patches. I think that would be really fun to do like for me at some point. Then, foliage. My game is glitching. The rabbit. in the center. Rabbit flip. I can't make it the sun any smaller. There we go. Make the plane bigger. I wish I had like a flying bird. That'd be sick. the shrub in the front. And you know what? This is a love story. They're in love. the color of the rabbit. I can't. 
thought I could. That's a bummer. You know what? They're no longer in love. <laughs> I can't- oh, you can't- you can only change the color of shapes, not actual drawn elements. some blue flowers to brighten up my canvas. I like this. It doesn't really make sense that it's like a rabbit in the desert, though. Like a white rabbit? You think another animal would be more fitting? Sitting chicken. Like a ferret? Are they in the desert? A raven and a rabbit. <gasps> I have enough I have enough hearts. I have just enough hearts. It costs 30. I'm buying the raven. I'll print more stickers. Okay, yeah, I need cat in the sun, flower pot, flower field. That's a bummer. I, I had ideas. Another day, another dollar. Time for bed. Yeah, I must have put the wrong sticker in a box. That's probably why I failed the order the other day. Oh my god, 11 11, make a wish. Thirty hearts again. Let's go. Another day, another dog. Only two orders? I fell off. From Claire Evans. Oh shit, I didn't print any of my snow cones. Oh, I mean, frick. I'm gonna swear. Oh wow, this is so many on one page. Easy. Now we get to pack it. There you go, Claire Evans. They like the shimmer stickers. For Easton Jones. I was gonna say, man, everybody seems to love the cat stickers. They only buy them, but that's because I only have one non-cat sticker design. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Now, let's get to crafting. Swapping out this bird for the superior bird, the raven. He's gonna eat the rabbit.
Oh, look at that. Lovely. Oh, lovely. I like this sticker a lot. But I love all my stickers equally. Yeah, this is the smallest I can get it. That looks silly. I'm I'm getting rid I'm getting rid of that. Feo, which means ugly. I think the sticker is done. Name your sticker. Crow in a rabbit. Escaping death. No. Nah. Just another day. YOLO! No. Raven and the hare. Rabbit and the raven. I like that. Rabbit and the Raven. Now this one doesn't need a holographic paper. Nice. I can make one more sticker. saw any like hands in the shop Back to basics. We did cat in a field, let's do rabbit in a field.
I like the composition of like boxing in the stickers. Now, to get the desired rectangle shape, we're going to layer multiple rectangles together. There we go. Oh, dude, it's almost perfect. It's like a perfect straight line. Oh my god, I got it. Oh wait, actually... I'll try a semicircle. Trying to make a dome shape up top, but this won't get bigger. And if I go to the shop and come back, I'm gonna lose time. This could work. Why am I trying so much to make a semicircle? I trashed it. Fuck. I mean, frick. The tricky part is gonna is gonna be getting this symmetrical. Then I have to decrease the size of the rectangles or the squares. Oops. I need a back button like desperately. It's kind of it. Perfect. Okay. I lost the square. Wow. 
Oh, I should probably be changing the color. I think I want to make it like a pink. Cute. Hi, Mac. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. got school school schoon <laughs> well you know what i'm working all day hell yeah i'll put jet up left oh, wait below me here putting a small shape I could just put another rectangle I mean a square man I'm so smart and this needs to go up a tad It's not perfectly symmetrical, but you know what? It's a-okay. I'm trying my best out here. Can we change the title to Professional Artist Plays Sticky Business? I got it. There's probably like a way easier way to do this, but I'm trying. Okay, that's as symmetrical as it's getting. I'm not... It's already been long enough. Oh, it's so cute! Should I add a sun? Oh, that looks DUM. Now, I think this design is good, but if we want to make it cringe, shit. This design is good, but if we want to make it cringe, add a bow. I can't change the color. Would it be perfect if I could do a blue bow? I'm 
But no, it has to be pink. Because it's kind of Eastery, right? I think the blue is too close to the green. If the rabbit was brown, then I could do a, a pink background. I went to art school. I'll keep the pink. Oh, I like the, the shrubs in the front. There we go. That took how long? <laughs> Just to make the semi-circle. I think it's cute. Great. No! Come on! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'll, I'll go print some shit. I have full inventory. I think I made it. Oh yeah, I gotta print my... My son say it. I can rotate. Oh, I'm making so much money now. I didn't realize I could rotate. I'm min-maxing. Can maybe fit one more. Yeah, let's go. And this is why borderless stickers are superior. Nice. I'll print two because I love them. I can edit the sheet, nice. Yeah, the other ones I can't really rotate. For the cold one, if you want to maximize space, you do... Yeah, I'll show you. You rotate like this. Oh, I should do that actually, man. You can fit like three more. placement truly matters on a sticker sheet is if you're selling the actual physical shit to people sheet to people not like the cutout version if you're cutting your if you're sorry if you're cutting stickers at home fit as many of those suckers as you can on a sheet Yeah, I can't min-max any of the other ones for now. Oh, I guess I could min-max this one. Ah, eh, don't matter. No importa. Oh, I only got one slot left. One seventy five, I'll buy it. 
I'm broke. Yeah, I got plenty stock of everything. Man, I really wish I could design more. That's the best part of the game. <laughs> okay, I'll just go to bed. Go to bed early today. Two orders sent, zero failed. You gain XP whenever you print a sticker. And each element you use that you print gains XP. You gain hearts and coins for every sticker you sell. So if you want to gain hearts, you have to sell more of a certain sticker. I had it backwards earlier. Start at day 13. Five orders! Yo! From Hannah Sky, Blink Blink. Hello. I found some of your stickers in my sister's room and first thought she took them. But it seems Alex and I have more in common than I thought. We both love your stickers and we're both gay. Do you see the gay ass snow cone they have in their order? <laughs> I have LGBTQIA tag, don't worry. <laughs> Dude, I'm like so worried one day somebody's gonna like think I'm like genuinely like a hater. I'm not. And no, I'm not gonna say unless. Order from Daisy at Artsy Fartsy. I got my order and they're so awesome. Shocked face. I have to say that it was so much more fun looking at my uni schedule working with all those cute stickers. Why, thank you. From Audrey Nguyen. From Naomi King. From Madison Nguyen. They must be siblings. A lot of my designs are similar, so I'm, I'm like tripping myself up. Like the snow cones, I have three snow cone designs. They're all very similar, so like I have to like actually pay attention when I'm packaging. All orders done, money in the bank. Dang. I literally have this design done and it's telling me it's gonna take like a third of my day to do it. Even though I did it all yesterday. That's frustrating. I should only do one design a day, I've learned. Well, it's in. Funny bunny. <laughs> no. Bunny in field. Probably just normal paper. I click the back button.
I struggle with fine motor function, okay? Talking about struggling, I bet some of you guys are struggling to type in chat. If you're not following, because we're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Do, 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 do. Bunny in field. Added to my roster. I might have enough time to print. Perfecto! I'm out of time. Another day, another dollar. Five packages sent, zero failed. Wait, I gain XP whenever... Oh yeah, I... Did I print them? No, I sold those. I don't know. I still don't understand how the... The XP increases. I'm still unsure, but it's fine. Day 13. Four new orders. Let's get to pack it for Lorenzo Taylor. For Jonah Scott. It seems like every other day there's, like, lore in the game. For Brody Chavez. And they got one of every cone. Remy Campbell. All orders done. Let's get to crafting. a star out of the cone. But you know what? I need to gravitate away from the cone. I have too many cone designs. said they wanted plants and they said they were sad so let's make plants the 
these kind of remind me of like antlers. What am I dropping my sticker sheet? When we hit a million subs, can we do it? I cutely. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I keep on gravitating towards symmetry. Is what I'm realizing. Too bad they don't have marijuana. <laughs> Not that I use it, but like, as I like the shape of the leaf. Because it's symmetrical. But most nature is symmetrical. Tengo una idea. triangle I think of the recycle logo That looks cool, but like, what's the point? Maybe a triangle. An upside down triangle? not an equilateral and it's kind of bothering me.
See, what's like the point of this design though? Like it looks cool, it's aesthetic. But what's the meaning? Something that I know I grapple with whenever it comes to drawing or painting is like, why am I making this? Like, why am I choosing this imagery? Because there's symbolism behind most everything, right? I don't know how much else I can push this. The only thing that like makes sense to add is text. hate this design. I know I spent a good amount of time on it, but I, I kind of hate it. <laughs> I'm hung up on the why. Maybe it's the circle shape? love mixing like geometric and natural forms and shapes like, I think the triangle looks cool but then it's like why a triangle
I'll stick with it. I'll keep this one. Something new. No more animals. Oh no, what am I gonna call it? Blup. I'll just call it Blup. Let's do Floral Crest. If this sells, I'll be amazed. I'll keep it on white. Dad, I always press B by accident. Who knew running a sticker shop could be so difficult? Now in the shop. And I'm choosing the black border because I like it. It's unconventional. Well, well, well. Hi, Vic. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait, well, well, well. It's time for me to run an ad. Non subs, you know what time it is. For you to subscribe, because we are three hours in the stream. So if you're new here, click the follow button. And if you're not new here, click subscribe. You get ad-free viewing all month long and cool emotes for $5. You can also subscribe for free by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub... And hashtag sub for free or prime. Click subscribe, see if we got a subscription available. Do it now. Sucks to be a non-sub, not me though. You know what, I'll say it. Wait, I gotta run in the end. I gotta run the end. I'll say it. Non-subs are just as good as subscribers. I'll say it. I'll say it. Also, I gotta redo my nails. They're starting to chip already. They're too long, too. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> but you know what? I'll be completely honest. My tier 2 subs are the best. I'll say it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna fit a lot of designs. Shoot. Man, look at that. Hell yeah. Would you buy this sticker type one? I don't like this one as much. But I'm keeping it. Because the one guy who just quit his job said he wants floral stickers. Wow. Wow. It's like almost perfect, but I don't know. I, I wanted to do like an abstract floral design and I kind of like it, but I'm still indifferent. If somebody buys it, I'll be happy. But I have such devoted fans for my sticker shop, surely they'll buy it. They'll buy anything I make. If I make slop, they'll buy it. He is total I'm done for the day. I have enough inventory for now. Might need to print some of these and some of those. Let's do shopping now because I have a little bit of time left. circle. I had a thought. I kind of want to do something with bubbles. 
I make the bubbles instead of bubbles sheep. That'll be too small to translate on a sticker design. Wait, bear cone. <laughs> I need to- okay, no more cone designs. but no bowl. Wait, I said I was gonna get more colors. Shoot, I forgot. I got distracted. <laughs> Let's buy more lame-ass colors. One more. Uh, let's do red. It's an orange red. I also ju should just work my way towards buying all the hollows. I just need a floral print. Man, some of these are expensive. I only got 218. This one looks like bubbles. Lots left. Out of all that I've made so far, I like the cactus in the sun. Also, the bunny and field. I, I'm learning that I like boxed in designs. Guess I should go to bed. Another day, another dog. More order sent, none failed. Six orders? Wow. I'm so popular. From burn s at burn s. Well, the stickers didn't help. Two projects failed. But here I am buying more stickers to distract myself. I was diagnosed with burn it, and I'm now on sick leave. But I don't feel better. I feel like a failure sometimes. Oh. Let's buy him some candy. Buy him the good candy. That'll make his day. From Julia Klein. Cutie Julie, hi Apisa. I understand that you don't want me to spend money on your stickers, but I want to show my support as a friend. Your creativity deserves recognition, so consider it an investment in our friendship. Why, thank you. It seems they like floral designs. You know, shoutouts to the people who do continue to monetarily support you. I know for the art shop, I gave away one painting to Emmy. But I bet if I, sh if I had smaller things available to sell, I would give more away. I just wish I wasn't a brokey. I'd buy, like, so much more things from friends and stuff.
I'm not crying, my nose is itchy. For Isaiah Morgan. For Violet Wood. They want five? Oh, the Raven and Rabbit. From Remy Campbell. It seems like florals are in. Everybody's buying my floral shit. I mean, stuff. From Isaac, from Isaac Watson. Buying two rainbow things, they're woke. All orders done. Very nice. Three more slots open. I'm gonna save for sparkly paper, I think, for now. That way, if I make a design, I can just choose whatever foil. Let's get to creating. Now, I don't feel burnt out, but like, creating a new design every day is kind of a struggle. In game, of course. Like, not everything can be a masterpiece. Too similar a color. cry. <laughs> I want to try and create like a windowsill. Border. 
Why is there no color wheel? Because you have to buy different swatches in the store. Like the upgrades. So I can't choose any color I want, unfortunately. It would be cool, but it kind of makes sense to incentivize unlocking new colors. I don't think this windowsill idea is going to work because I can't, like, scale the, the sizes of the shapes. Wait, I kind of like this. A more simpler comp. And then the cat loves ramen. <laughs> this pink and the blue clash a lot though. There we go. That's a bit softer. tighter shape that's why I'm, I think I'm gonna combine four rectangles that rounded corner oh what am I doing I mean having two rounded colors and then two jagged corners is kind of cool It just seems like there's like a lot of empty space here. Oops. Let's grab that circle layout. I don't think the rounded circle is going to work. Yeah, because if I do too low, the, the bowl takes up too much space.
I realized I made the rectangles a different shape. Because the corner pixels are a different shape. It is nice how this game style is in pixel. It makes everything a lot easier to align. Yeah, because see the pixel shape here is twice as big as this corner here. losing my mind. I hate being a perfectionist. Oh my god, I got it! Okay, <laughs> okay. Blushing because he's having the hot ramen. He's blushing. <laughs> it's so cute. that's crooked or not oh, oh my god it is close it's so crooked <laughs> i think that's as close as i'm gonna get it so I can make like steam lines. Yeah, I don't have anything that could be squiggles. Or maybe? my canvas. Fuck. Oh no. Um. Okay, so it's off the canvas, so it doesn't count. Saved. Note to self, don't shrink too much.
that could work. If I could crop elements, this could work. No, I think it's too abstract. I would need I want squiggly lines. Like it has eyeliner. I kind of like that. Now the black line art, I think is too dark. If I could change this to a brown, no. If I could change this line art of the black to brown, that would look nice, but I think I'll keep it as is. I'll keep the expression default. Love that. That's so much cuter. I love that. We're done. This one's done. Cat loves ramen. We actually Just to kind of split the plane a little bit. Make it look like it's sitting on a table. But I don't got brown. This is fine. People will love it. They'll eat it up. Continue on. 
Day 15, six orders sent, zero failed. Okay, I think I understand the XP system now. The more elements of a sticker you sell, it levels it up. Every time you level up, you gain hearts. I think. Pray okay, see. Six orders, holy moly! Okay, I got a print. Let's see, I need rabbit, shave ice, Rabbit, shave ice, ramen cat. Rabbit, shave ice. Rabbit, shave ice. Save the stupid. Oh. No. That was a glitch. It was literally perfect, too. Fuck. I have to delete it. It would cancel all orders? Okay, I'll just keep it up today, and they're buying slaw. Oh, that's such a bummer. It was a glitch! I couldn't remove it! Oh, is it really worth? Ah! Maybe? What if I just, like, give him a different sticker? Customer two from England. Okay, I think I have to print them just for today. I'm gonna see how many actually people ordered. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Dude, they bought the slop. So I need to print nine. Oh shit, I, I printed ten. Fuck. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mine is money. It's fine. They're getting slop. Man, I wanted no leftovers. It's fine. It's okay. I'll take the L. Tim K at Tim the Pen. Hey! Your stickers are lit! Are you creating them yourself? I'll stick some on my next letter to my BFF pen pal over in India. By the way, I'm a student from England, so your stickers will be traveling halfway around the world, no cap, on a stack. You know, I'll give him an extra one. I'm sorry, Tim. From Charlotte Cook.
from Cameron Phillips. Everybody's behind the cat ramen one. It's so bad. I think it just cut it off. From Remy Campbell. Camden Wilson. From Cecilia Brooks. Okay, all of the cab ramen is gone. I just have to redesign it today. And I'm out of time for the day. Unlisted. Or delete. Oh wait, cancel the orders too? Oh. Cat ramen Cat Loves Ramen is now unlisted. Hopefully I can just delete it tomorrow. I'm out of time. God damn it. All for a stupid glitch. Hmm. Let's buy more hollows. day is done i'm hoping i can delete the ramen design the next day crossing my fingers i can one order failed what i wish let me see which one i failed i can't see how i failed Cat loves ramen. You'll not be able to use that sticker again. Uh, yes, sir. It's gone. Now I have to waste another day to remake it. Oh, it's so dumb. I should have just reset it at the start. Womp womp. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, well, I didn't waste that much money. I don't. How did I fail an order? I literally did it all right. Maybe because I sent him an extra one? Does he not like extra stickers? What the hell? I'm, this is why I don't want to give away free shit. People don't appreciate it. Anyway, back to work. From Robert Frey at Be Free. I did it! I quit! I can't wait for it to be over. I had the idea of hanging a calendar on the wall and putting a sticker on it for every day until my last day of work. Well, honey, you can't be spending your money on stickers. You quit your job. I'm proud of you. Slay. From Daisy at RT Fartsy. This might sound cheesy, but your stickers changed my life. I am much more motivated now. I started going to a cafe to study for my uni exams. 
And I hope everybody sees your lovely stickers and they buy them from me. From Margaret Rodriguez. They bought so many. Wow. I guess the most quantity item type they can buy is six. And the most individual sticker I've seen per order is like eight or nine. I've never seen a double digit sticker order. is really lovely. Thank you, Haley. Make sure to leave a five-star Smoogle review. From June Evans. From Ada Carter. Man, just sending all these orders out takes so long. Not enough time in the day. If I'm gonna be making new designs, I cannot send out every single order, it seems. Yeah, I don't have enough time! Oh no. I think you have like a 3D timeline for orders. So I'm probably- I may need to start making designing the sticker at the start of the day, and then shipping an order. Oh, man. But at least I can buy more hollows. I can, okay, because you can save sticker sheets. So if I want to change the hollow, I just have to make a new sticker sheet. Okay. Nice. So I cannot edit the hollow from the edit, I just have to delete it entirely. Oh, I thought I bought the- god damn it, I thought I bought the- the flower shimmer, but I didn't. <laughs> um, I'll wait to remake it. I bought the paw shimmer, that was it. So I gotta remake all my cat sheets. finalize the sticker design, that's when I choose the shimmer type. That was it. So in order to change the shimmer, I have to make the whole design again. Oh no. That's so silly. So silly. It's fine, now I know. For any future designs, I know what I must do.
You live and you learn. I have 12 stickers. I gotta double check I have all my sheets made. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, I got 12 sheets. I should probably unlock all of the shimmer types and then design new stickers. That way, like, I don't want to design another, like, flower one and not give it the flower shimmer. So I think for the next few days, I'm just going to grind, only do packages, and go from there. That's what I'll do. And I'll work on unlocking colors. That's the plan. The plan is simple. Sticker. They should really let me edit old designs. But you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm annoyed. But the plan is simple. Just packaging orders for the next few days, grinding enough money to unlock all the hollows, and then I'll start designing more stickers. You know, we're almost four hours into my shift, and I think I have everything mostly figured out. Plus 242, nice. Damn, six orders. Okay, so I need... Rabbit. Cat in the sun. Rabbit, cat in the sun. Flowers. day gone. Now we pack. From Hannah Sky at blank blank. Hello. Now that Alex and me are trading stickers, I remember how much I miss spending time with her. We just stopped when I started high school. Before that, we both loved getting boba together. Do you think you can make boba themed stickers for us? Okay, somebody wants boba now. Of course. Loyal customer. In a few days. Lorenzo Taylor. From Jace Stewart. It's kind of wild that I have this many orders every day. Like, this is not realistic. Most shops will have, like, an order, like, a week. If they're lucky. my newer designs from Wesley Richardson it appears they like sleeping cats because all the stickers they got had the sleeping cat sign from Violet Collins That should be all. Yep, all for today. That took all day. Ay, Dios mío. I'm 
I'm gonna make prints now. Shave ice, rabbit in the sun. Day is done. Maybe I can go shopping? Oh, I can still shop even if the time's out. Now I know. Buying every color. E. I can't buy any hollows. It's gonna be probably like two to three weeks in game. I'm just buying hollows. Time for bed. Six orders sent, zero failed. Plus 171. I wish I could manually like change the prices of my stickers. I just want to make one like a hundred dollars and see if any sucker will buy it. <laughs> From burned s at burn.s. Your stickers made me realize how much I miss the presence of animals. Smile. By any chance, could you make one? Could you make a sticker with rodents like a rat, rabbit, or capybara? Well. Well, do you know, I actually have some with rabbits in them. But they want a rat? And a capybara. I assume in order to progress the story in the game, you need to make the stickers they request. So that is what I'll focus on. I'm not just gonna keep making cats, I guess. Even though I want to, they're ruining my branding. He really likes rabbits. He bought eight of them. <laughs> From Alex Guy at Blunk Blunk. My sister Hannah just noticed the stickers on my pin board. She says something along the lines of how she didn't know I had actual taste. I can't believe that really happened. I just want to be cool like her. Don't worry, with my stickers you'll be epic. From Landon King. He must be a librarian. From Elliot Adams. Stickers are awesome! <laughs> Thanks, man. You're pretty awesome. He bought ten? Oh my god. He must be rich. From Isaac Watson. You, play, you packed all your orders for today. Very nice. So I guess anything that I have less of 20 of, I should print. So I need rabbit and flowers. Flower cat, book cat. Do I like the game? Yeah, I like it. If I wasn't doing this on stream, I probably would play this offline. It's like, it's repetitive and chill. I actually like it. I thought it was gonna be cringe, but I like it. So I guess the rest of my day in game, I should just focus on printing, that way I don't run out. So I just print my lowest quantity items. So, cat in tea, cat cone,
The printing takes no time at all, which makes sense in theory. time. I really want to do make more stickers, but I just don't have enough time in game. And I do think it's smart to unlock all the hollows before I make any more. I don't want to cook myself. I'm broke. <laughs> Order sent, zero failed. $181 earned. Five orders in. I think after this day in game, I'm gonna take my 30 minute break. So, guys, heat up your hot pockets. Inspector P at Peanut Butter. I've been on the heels for the sticker vandal for weeks. They put stickers on almost every building around the city. I'm trying to find out which shop they come from. I have to order evidence from Inspector P. Okay, it's not my fault if people vandalize. It's their fault, not mine. You can't, like, I'm not telling them to do it. Even though I did say it's cool, I'm not instructing people to vandalize. I'm just saying, like, visually it's cool. And he's buying somebody. He bought 14! I think he's the vandal. He wants to do crimes, but he can't because he's a cop. Even though a lot of cops do crimes. ACAB. From Bernard S. Wow, the new sticker is wonderful. Yesterday I went to the local animal shelter. I'm not well enough to work, but I can take the dogs for a walk. It brings me so much joy. Patrick also comes with me from time to time. Smiley face. Does Patrick order from us? I can't remember. Creo que si. From Julia Klein at Cutie Julie. Hey, Peason. Okay, last one. I'm thrilled to see you shop thriving. I'm proud of you. Can't wait to catch up with you soon. Take care. Julia Klein. Man, we're spending so much time working, we're not, like, hanging out with our friend. Is she, like... She wants to desperately reconnect, but I'm just ignoring her. But you know what? I'm making money. Hashtag Sigma grinds it. From Ellie Turner. From Walker Brown. All orders done for today. I got half the day left. I should probably buy the sticker steams that people are requesting now. That I have money in hearts. Yeah, because hearts are for colors. Colors can wait. So one guy said he wanted a rant. And a capybara. So I got a rant. Begrudgingly. And I don't have enough hearts to buy anything else. Or boba? Capybara costs 35. I need boba. There's three boba stickers, bruh. And they all cost 30. Damn. 
Okay, let's get to printing. So cat pride, cat flower, cat cone. I think anytime I have 20 or less, I'll just print two sheets. Besides this one, this one has 24 plus. If the sheet has 20 or more, I only print one. If it has 20 or less, I'll print two. Rabbit in field, cat in sun. Out of time for the day. Another day, another doll. Five orders sent, zero failed. Okay, so the game incentivizes you to keep making different theme designs because once a design is maxed out at five stars, you don't earn more hearts. Plus $208, 85 hearts. End of day 20. Three new orders. Okay, we're gonna pause for now, and I'm gonna take my break. So? Wrong scene. So? <laughs> I'm gonna run an ad. I'm gonna use the restroom, heat up my lunch, and then we'll watch YouTube videos for my 30 minute break. So, if you wanna avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link Amazon Prime Day, Twitch, and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. And if I'm eating lunch, you all should be eating something too, okay? It's been four hours already. Okay, I'm gonna get a YouTube video on. Wrong playlist. April? Oops. <laughs> what video should we watch? We need something that's 30 minutes, if not a little bit longer. Let's do something lovey dovey. Let's do what's my love language. Oops, why did I click play on TV? I did not mean to do that. Do 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 do. I'm just asking the audio. I have selected a good handful of quizzes that we can, or that I can answer. <laughs> that way you guys can learn a little bit more about me. Okay, I'm gonna go use the restroom and heat up my lunch, so I'll be back in like two or three minutes. What's your and since some of y'all misbehaved last time, emote only chat. Children. Big trouble. Take this quiz Put your favorite emotes in chat and I'll love it. Language, what it means and how you can use it to better connect with your loved ones. There how would you describe there. yourself? In a relationship or single? Sad. <laughs> Why is it calling me out? It's more meaningful yeah, to right me back. when someone I love sends me a loving message <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Or I hug someone I love. Why are they using love already? I think that's a bit too forward. Whenever I get like a text message in my head, it's still sincere, but it's not as sincere as like somebody like telling me something in person or like through a phone call, right? But I definitely love like hugs and stuff. I'm a self-report, I'm a self-report. From a previous relationship, I still have pictures. We deleted our text logs though. But I still have screenshots of like super sweet messages and I remember I found them and I wasn't sad when I was reading them. The relationship didn't end on bad terms. There was nothing bad that happened. It was just we both had issues that we had to resolve separately and we couldn't prioritize the relationship. So it wasn't like there's was anything bad, but I was reading like the text messages that I screenshotted and they were like so cute and so wholesome. It was kind of more like melancholy more than anything. But it doesn't mean anything more because like I very much like physical affection because I'm the type of person to where 
I need that reassurance, I guess. Like, I don't think I could ever do an online relationship. It would never work for me. Like, I need to have somebody near me. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time, alone time, <laughs> with someone I love just as. Someone I love does something practical to help me out. I definitely like spending time with those I care about, whether it be platonic or romantic. I think the more time you spend with somebody, the more you learn about them. And I think that is a really, like, pretty thing. Something practical in helping me out, as you guys know, I've been having, like, health complications. Like, something that, like, stuck with me. I was hanging out with my friend and we went out to lunch. And we were going from, like, the parking lot to the restaurant. And in order to get to the restaurant, there was, like, this big, like, outdoor staircase that I had to go up. They were walking slower. They were using, like, their arm to, like, help support me walk because there wasn't any railings. And it was just, like, a really like kind action that I didn't ask them to do but they kind of knew what to do in their head they're thinking about my well-being and I think that's really kind but I think there's a limit to what actions can do I'd have to say quality time because I feel like that has more impact to me overall it's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love our love of concern for each other huh or I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. I don't necessarily like gifts. I don't like trinkets. I don't like clutter. I'm very practical in the sense of I feel like everything in my space has to have merit or utility. I love cards because cards, there's usually like a little blurb of what they feel about you. I like cards. I don't like gifts. Like I'd very much like us to go shopping together to buy something. Uninterrupted leisure time. I think quality time is better than gifts, not gonna lie. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected for me to help with a project, or I can, <laughs> an innocent touch, <laughs> or I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. What does the first option mean? Like, are they gonna help me build the desk? I think an innocent touch is nice, like, I do love forehead kisses, I like a hand on the waist, I'll take an innocent touch. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public, or someone I love surprises me with a gift. I hate gifts, I, I will gladly, I love PDA. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love, even if we're not really doing anything, or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving. <laughs> Or putting my arm around someone I love. <laughs> I five, <I>, bro. <laughs> I'm thinking about the wording of the second option because I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, putting my arm around someone I love. Every individual person has their own personal boundaries of what they are comfortable with in terms of like PDA or physical affection. And to me, it needs to be communicated properly to where you can't just like touch somebody without asking even if you are together, even if it's like intimate or a more like wholesome innocent touch you still need to like establish whatever your partner is comfortable with but i think this means in the sense of like you physically comforting your partner and then vice versa because honestly i'm a very touchy person like with friends and stuff like as long as they're comfortable i don't mind like a arm holder or like i don't mind hugs <laughs> i was gonna say cuddling but i've never cuddled with a friend i think that's a bit much do i kiss the homies no that's for my lovers only. I get very comfortable very quickly. Being able to be comfortable in the silence, I think is nice. It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love or I'm complimented by someone I love for no apparent reason. I do like words of affirmation. I like being praised. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you or someone I love helps with the task. Both of these are good. Hmm. <laughs> I can't overshare, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm very individualistic in the sense of I feel like I don't need help and I won't ask for it. It depends on the circumstance. I very much will do things on my own. I'm gonna say proud of you. It's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with someone I love or I hear supportive words from them. When I read the phrase, I get to do things, I think of like dates, and I don't necessarily like dates. Like I do like hanging out with them, but we don't need to do like fantastical things. Especially when I now don't have the means to afford to go out or even get a f***ing coffee sometimes. I have like a lot of internal dialogue in like self-doubt. 
I can still like get out of those pitfalls whenever I do fall in them. It does take a while, but I think it's very important to, uh, to have someone who cares about you still vocalize their feelings occasionally because I know I need reassurance or to hear that reassurance from another sometimes. So I think supportive words is good. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Drama? Or I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. I think the first one is talking about following through, like not being a flake essentially. I'd have to say physical comfort, because I don't- because I'm very independent in the sense of like, I can do things on my own. It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around someone, or I get a back rub. You know the cliche of like, girlies asking for massages? Just saying they are pretty nice. And like, the aftermath of a massage is very nice. <laughs> I think just being around them is good enough. <laughs> I'm able to be in close physical proximity, or I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about. Do you like when you can be very, very close, or do you like if they can listen to your ramblings about your special interests for 10 minutes? Guys, I'm not on the spectrum, but I think I am. Anyway, I think it's also nice to like listen to somebody talk about something they're passionate about in the sense of they're comfortable enough to share it with you. That's like an aspect of like emotional intimacy. So I think that overall is more important. Like even though I like physical comfort and stuff, I think sharing is nice. It's more meaningful to me when I'm complimented by someone on my appearance or someone takes their time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. I think emotional maturity is very important. It's more meaningful to me when I can share a meaningful touch in public. What is a meaningful touch? <laughs> or someone I love offers to run errands for me. We would just do the errands together. I think PDA is cute. Huh, what is this? It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're- Oh, while we're talking with each other so they have your full attention. Okay. Or someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. <laughs> what type of pressure? <laughs> I don't mind if people are on their phone much. Like, I don't care. Because I know I'm... I need that kind of, like, scapegoat, you could say. Because just being in public sometimes is very overwhelming. So just, like, browsing the internet sometimes calms me down a little bit. But I get really anxious whenever I miss, like, a, a text or a phone call. So I usually... I keep my phone on the table just so I can see if I have like a notification because it really bothers me if I can't talk to somebody if they need to talk to me, you know? I'd have to say go out of their way to do something that makes me feel better. I think that's better. I don't know. Those were kind of like, eh. It's more meaningful to me when I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift. Cringe. Or I hear the words, I appreciate you from them. Dude, I'm a sucker for praise. I'm a sucker. It's more meaningful to me when Someone I love and haven't seen in a while thinks enough to give me a little gift. Why are so many gifts? Or someone takes care of something I'm responsible to do but I feel too stressed to do. Oh, that is a big one. If they take initiative to do something to help out, that's huge. Someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern. Or someone I love gives me a little gift. Little touches are nice. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love says something encouraging or I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby. Controversial, but I think it's good when you and your partner have like separate interests or hobbies. Cause I think learning about someone else's interests is very cool. Similar to where if you have similar jobs, I feel like that can be a problem too. Cause one thing that I really liked is like just hearing about what they do in their day or at their job or what they like to do. Not that I necessarily could do it with them, because it wasn't something I was interested in, but it's still nice hearing them go on and on about something they really like or care about. I'd have to say encouraging words. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation. Or, <laughs> I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. <laughs> what? Wait, is this a non-platonic quiz? Or is this a platonic one, huh? I'm very touchy. I'm clingy physically, but emotionally, I don't need constant attention. Okay, if your girl 
demands that you text them back right away, that's toxic. If they get mad at you, if you don't reply instantly, that's toxic. Whenever I see a partner in person, I do like, I'm very clingy physically. These are also similar and it's, it's obvious what my style is, it's obvious. It's more meaningful to me when I get a hug from someone whom I haven't seen in a while. Or I hear someone I love tell them how much I mean to them. I think there's a point in most relationships where this is obviously something you can't really understand unless you experience it yourself. After experiencing what it's like to care for someone so deeply, you can kind of feel that care through touch because to me, love is both admiration but also hardship. You care about that person than you do yourself at times. And I think being able to hear verbally along with physically that they care to the same degree is comforting. I'd have to say hearing that they care is nice. <gasps> it's done! So your physical or primary love language is words of affirmation. Dude, it's because I'm, I'm insecure. <laughs> And I didn't get it a lot when I was younger, obviously. There's been studies done, like psych studies, that evaluate your upbringing, your childhood, your own personal morality and mentality, and how it affects your the way you show and receive affection. And it's obvious. Everything during your fundamental years of childhood affects your adult mentality. And that's why I think it's so important to acknowledge that there are multiple forms of abuse, whether it be physical, there's financial, medical abuse. There's a lot of levels to it, and they all affect how you conduct yourself as an adult and also how you view social dynamics as an adult. Words of affirmation, 33%. Obvi. Quality time, 30. Physical touch, 23. Interesting. I personally thought physical touch would be the, the highest. Access of service, 13. Receiving gifts, zero. <laughs> I, I don't like gifts. I don't like gifts. Um, words of affirmation. Actions don't always speak louder than words. If this is your love language, unsolicited compliments mean the world to you. Hearing the words, I love you, cringe, are important. Hearing the reasons behind that love sends your spirit skyward. Insults can leave you shattered and not easily forgotten. You thrive on hearing kind and encouraging words that build you up. I think when you have a lot of internalized self-doubt, it's very easy to kind of crave that positive validation. Okay, next quiz! <laughs> Okay, so this one is another love style test. Let's see if I answer the same thing again. The seven love styles test. Discover your unique styles for showing love. This free quiz reveals how you prefer to give and receive love. The concept of love languages was created by couples counselor, Dr. Gary Chapman, who observes that people differ in what sort of interactions make them feel loved. Dr. Chapman described five love languages. However, our research of over 500,000 volunteers indicates that there are actually seven distinct ways of showing love. This quiz measures your preference for all seven of these modern love styles. I feel most love when my partner tells me how important I am to them, when they give me kisses and hugs, or brings me a special treat just because. Oh wait, I do like giving gifts. I hate getting gifts, but I love giving. Like I will all make like little treats or cards. I feel most special to my partner when they make room in our budget for the items that are important to me share what they appreciate about me, or like to do things with me in their spare time. Words of affirmation are nice, but I think spending time with them is the most important. I feel best about my relationship when my partner tells me they are proud of me, invites me to spend time with them, or looks after our children or other family members. Huh? Our kids? Huh? <laughs> what? I ain't never having kids. It ain't happening. I don't like asking people to spend time with me because I'm so scared of rejection. It takes a lot of like mental courage for me to ask somebody to hang out. I think being told that they're proud of being nice is nice. I don't know. I feel most loved when my partner cooks a meal for me, praises my personal qualities, or cuddles. Oh, cuddles are nice. They are nice. I feel special when my partner makes me feel safe, flirts with me, or spoils me. I feel special. I think special is the key word here. Makes me feel safe. That's like emotional comfort and maturity. But then flirting. Flirting is fun. <laughs> I love flirting. I, th I think I'll choose flirting just to be fun. My partner can best show love to me by finding fun things for us to do together. Supporting me when I'm feeling down, which is every day, let's be honest. <laughs> or buying things I cannot afford myself, which is me. I'm broke. <laughs> I think emotional support is very important. I think... Being able to be vulnerable with someone, I think, is a very intimate thing. 
I feel best about my relationship when my partner shares their true thoughts and opinions with me, runs errands for me, or puts their arms around me. Feels best about my relationship. I think emotional intimacy is very important in a relationship if you want it to last long term. So I think this is the most reassuring thing out of everything. I feel closest to my partner when they help me with my to-do list, praise my achievements, or discuss important decisions with me. I think discuss important decisions because that shows that they respect and value my perspective. I'd most like my partner to show love by thanking me for the things I do for them, listening to me talk about difficult issues I'm dealing with, or spending money on me. I'm an anxious bitch. <laughs> I feel most love with my partner, lets me vent when I'm under stress, shows that they find me desirable, or plans activities for us to do together. I'm gonna be honest, being known that you're wanted and desired is a very nice feeling that I didn't understand until I was in a relationship. I gained so much confidence in my outward appearance when I was with that person. I feel closest to my partner when they learn about my hobbies, touch me affectionately, oh, do chores to help me out. Okay, keyword closest, keyword closest. I feel best about my relationship when my partner thanks me for the things I do for them, shows that they find me attractive, or discusses important decisions with me. Okay, best about my relationship. I think discuss important decisions with me shows that they find me attractive is important to me, like in the sense of like, you could say like flirting or initiating intimacy. I feel special when my partner values my opinion, listens to me talk about my problems, or buys me special gifts. I'd have to say values my opinion. I feel like a lot of these questions are just rehashing or rearranging different options next to each other. Okay, I feel most love when my partner shares their plans and dreams, plans activities for us to do together, or runs errands for me. Shares their plans and dreams? I feel like that's talking about a future, and I don't like thinking too far ahead. And I'm usually the one who plans activities. I like being in control in that sense, because I feel like if I... Like if anybody, if anybody does like a surprise date, I would lose my mind. Because there's so much anxiety in the unknown. So if anybody ever does like a surprise birthday party or a surprise date, I, no, no, I would, I would hate it. If we're going to plan something, do it together, is my opinion. I think runs errands out of these three. They're all kind of crummy. I feel appreciated by my partner when they give me recognition for my achievements, plan a big surprise, I hate surprises, I just said I hate surprises, or joins me in hobbies. I like praise, I like being recognized for what I can do. I feel closest to my partner when they take care of me when I'm not feeling well, plan future goals with me, or do chores around the house. I never live with my partner. Taking care of somebody when they're sick is so cute. I would love for that to happen, but I never get sick, so it will never happen. Your partner had a hard day at work. What will you do to support them? Rank each action based on how likely you would be able to do this for your partner. There's a lot of things I'd do. <laughs> okay. Encourage them to talk about it and listen compassionately. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's the, That'd be the first thing I'd do. Ask them about what happened and help them problem solve. That'd be the first thing I'd do. Clean the house and make dinner? I'm not no housewife. <laughs> but I would make dinner anyway. I wouldn't do that just to make them feel better. Because I think the societal standard that women have to be the housewife even though it's normal for like women to have like a full-time job so i think it's bad when men have like the same amount of work hours but they don't help around the house i think that's bad you're not equal you're not putting equal effort into the relationship it's different if like the the wife stays at home and doesn't have a job because then she has ample time to do the housework because housework if you're looking at hours per week it's essentially part-time so it's unfair for men to still expect women to do all the housework or take care of the kids when they are doing the same amount of work hours as the husband. Suggest spending the evening doing something fun together. <laughs> like what? <laughs> There's a lot of ways to have fun. <laughs> I'll put second likely because I would still like want to make sure they're okay, but then to have some fun. <laughs> Give them a big hug and then offer a massage. Obviously, I would hug them when they walk in the door. I think offering a massage is a bit much, because I don't do that. I like receiving. Let's do second, unlikely. It's your partner's birthday. How will you celebrate? Book a table at a fancy restaurant and get them a nice gift. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. 
I've never gone to a super fancy restaurant, and I feel like there's so much pressure. And also, I'm broke. Because when I was in the relationship, I had more money than them in the sense of I had less financial obligations, so I had more spending money. Arrange to spend time together in a place they love to visit. Oh, that would be adorable. Um, write them a personal note or card telling what you love most about them. Yeah, but I will, I will always do cards. Cards are always a go-to. Take care of all the chores for the day so they can relax. I, I ain't no wifey, okay? They can do their own goddamn chores. <laughs> Uh oh. You and your partner have been distant lately. How do you try to reconnect? Tell them how much you love them and appreciate them. Obvi? Obvi? But I feel like you should do that somewhat regularly. Ask them how they've been feeling about your relationship. Oh, that's, that's too much. That's like asking, do you want to break up? <laughs> that's a can of words you don't want to open too bluntly like that. Um, plan some time together, do an activity that you both enjoy. I feel like that'd be reasonable. <laughs> Try to get close physically with cuddles or intimacy. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, that should work. <laughs> nah, I don't know, I don't know. You notice your partner going above and beyond in your relationship lately. How do you show your appreciation? Offer to join them in one of their favorite hobbies or activities. Yeah, I guess. Treat them with an unexpected splurge, like a spa day, a fancy night out, or take it to a sport event. I would probably do that. If I could afford it, I'd probably do that. Surprise them by completing some chores that are usually their responsibility. No, they can do their own f***ing chores. Explain what their actions mean to you and just how much you appreciate it. Yeah. Verbally tell them, give them, give them kisses or physical affection. I mean, I feel like you would do that normally. Not like I would do it anymore. Oh no, you and your partner disagree about a big decision you have to make. How do you show your commitment to the relationship? Make an effort to be physically close to them even if things feel tense. Hmm. This is assuming we had a fight. I would say trying to get close to them is probably not the best option. You don't want to use intimacy as a scapegoat or to avoid not confronting something. Calmly discuss the pros and cons and express that you value your partner's opinions. Obviously, obviously, if you don't do that, you're, you're dumb. Or just too immature. Validate your partner's feelings on the issue and acknowledge the difficulty of being in a disagreement. Mmm, is this kind of like saying, I understand what you're saying, but I hate that we're fighting. It's not the best. Because I don't think you should say that I don't like that we're fighting. Because that, to me, says that you, you saying that don't know how to communicate properly. Let them know how much you appreciate their knowledge and insight on the matter. I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, the best. I think these two, call me, discuss the pros and cons, and let them know you appreciate their opinion is, is important. Your partner confesses that they hate their job. How do you give them support? Offer to support them financially if they want to quit. Ooh. If I'm a rich bitch, yeah, I quit. You should do something that makes you happy, or something that isn't too horrible to get by and focus on yourself a little bit if i can financially do that i would offer that honestly help them figure out starter strategies to deal with the issues they're having it yeah, obviously you want to be able to help them be able to navigate issues on their own sympathize with the stress they're going through i feel like you should do that be a nice kind empathetic person question mark offer to take on more of the responsibility at home so they can have more time to decompress no i think they should still do the same amount like, I'm still stressed as f They can do their own chores. Compliment them on their strength and persistence in working through this difficult time. Yeah, you need to validate that they're doing a good job. Your partner shares that they are feeling overwhelmed by their responsibilities. How do you help out? Offer to hire someone to help them. A housekeeper, babysitter, or assistant. Is it weird that I've never liked the idea of a housekeeper? Like, even if I had money. Honestly, housework isn't that bad. I think a lot of it comes down to like your own, I guess, mental workload in the sense of there are some days where like I can clean the whole house and then there's some days where I, I just don't want to do the dishes. And then there's also days where I physically can't stand to do the dishes. I don't think maintaining the household is difficult if you don't have kids. But if you have kids, those are more people, more mess, more time, more meal prep, more cooking. 
more trash. So I think it would only really make sense to hire a housekeeper if you have kids. Otherwise, I feel like you should be able to do your own chores. And it's also hard to like find a housekeeper that you can trust. If I had kids, then maybe. But otherwise, if we're grown up adults with no kids, we don't need a housekeeper. Take on some of their tasks to lighten their load, yeah. If they're saying that they're getting overwhelmed, then yeah, I would I would offer at that point. Empathize with their feelings and stress and assure that them that everyone feels overwhelmed sometimes, yeah. You, you have to reassure them. Help them figure out ways to be more efficient or effective with their workload. When somebody is telling you that they're feeling overwhelmed, they don't want advice. So I would probably not do that, but if they ask for how to do better, then I would probably offer. I would not backseat game their workload. Offer to join in on some of their tasks to make the work more enjoyable. I don't like doing chores together. It's cute, but I don't like doing it together. Because if I'm working with somebody, I'm always hyper focused on what they're doing. Like there was a few times where me and my partner would make like dinner together and I would always be worried about them. <laughs> I'd be worried about them like not using the right utensils or making a mess. So I would say probably not. I'd rather just do things on their own. Ooh, it's date night. What do you do to make it special? Give them lots of compliments. Yeah, I do that anyway. Splash out. Splash out? What? Splash out on an expensive dinner or event? I'm a brokey. I can't afford that. Plan ahead with conversation topics that'll interest and engage your partner. Why the would I do that? I bring my cue card to a date. I hide it under the table. They look at me. Are you texting? I'm like, no. I'm looking at my cue cards. Make time and space to be physically intimate. <laughs> Um, we would do that anyway. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Or choose an activity that is fun for both of you. Yeah, I guess. But it's a date night for them. You're dating someone new. Oh no. How do you show you're interested? Encourage them to open up about their emotions to you. Obviously, you don't want to confess if you don't think they'll like you back. Pay for dates and buy them unexpected gifts. If you're dating someone, you should take turns paying or go halvesies. Touch them frequently and get physically close. Obviously, you gotta flirt. Offer to help them with everyday errands and chores. Wait, we're dating. What? What? No. Why would you be helping around the house if you're dating, huh? Ask their opinion on important issues. Obviously, you need to see if they're a fucking dummy Republican before. Obviously, there will be perspectives and things you don't agree on, but I think there are some things you can't disagree on if it's associated with, like, certain politics and identity. Like, I don't think I could pursue anybody if they were had a very mean ideology towards, like, homeless people because there's been some takes that I've seen where it's like, oh, we should jail the homeless or all the homeless people should die. And it's like, no, because obviously if you think that way, it shows that you lack empathy because a lot of the times, not a lot of people who are homeless voluntarily choose to be homeless. And a lot of the time it's due to unfortunate, unfortunate circumstance, also generational wealth or, or where you grew up. Um, it can come down to like losing your job randomly. A lot of people who are homeless don't necessarily live on the streets. A lot of them are living in their cars or couch hopping. So you can't immediately dehumanize a marginalized group of people. Anyway, so yeah. You, I think you should feel somebody out before you try to pursue them seriously. Show my results! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry, <laughs> intellectual, holy. So I had majority intellectual, 67. Physical, 56. Appreciation, 45. Emotional, 45. Activity, 11. Practical, 11. And zero financial. So majority intellectual and physical for me. What is intellectual? Is that Was that like all the questions related to like emotional maturity? People with the intellectual love language like to connect through their mind. My big brain in my busted skull. <laughs> they feel loved when their partner values their intelligence, respects their opinion, and takes part in thoughtful discussion of important issues. Yeah, I'm not gonna date a dumbass. Physical. People with a physical love language feel loved when they receive physical affection, hugs, holding hands, and snuggles. They want their partners to show they're attracted to them and initiate loving touch. True, I do appreciate that. Those who focus on emotional love language feel loved when their partner is able to connect with them and support them through difficult and scary emotions. Being present for the highs and lows is very important to those with the emotional love language. Appreciation. People who focus on the appreciation love language feel loved when their partner gives them compliments, praise, and thanks. 
They appreciate hearing explicitly what their partner likes and admires about them. Yeah, feeling verbally validated. True. People with the practical love language feel loved when their partners chip in with everyday duties and responsibilities. They feel cared for when their loved ones do chores not for help. That's honestly not too important to me. People who focus on the activity love language feel special and valued when their partner takes an interest in their hobbies and activities and makes an effort to enjoy hobbies and interests together. I don't care. <laughs> oh, unlock my full report. 13 pages of personalized insights? Holy. <laughs> okay, let's just read the synopsis. Oh my god, 13 pages? People with the intellectual love style like to connect through the mind. They feel loved when their partner values their intelligence, respects their opinion, and takes part in thoughtful discussion of important issues. While the intellectual love style includes a desire to spend quality time together, it focuses more specifically on a meeting of minds and valuing each other's intelligence. People with intellectual as their dominant love style seek a partner who asks for their opinion, but they care about what they have to say. This type is likely to enjoy deep conversations about things that matter to them and a partner who will happily debate ideas. Literally, literally, literally. I am such a debate Andy. <laughs> you feel most loved when your partner takes a deep interest in what you say and how you think, respects and values your opinions, and wants to think with you about things that matter. I guess that is right. That is true. I do appreciate that. Such a deep, because yeah, this one is crazy. Talking about heavy things, um, you can join in on the discussion if you follow the channel. Well, I only got like two minutes left of my break, and you know, I'm fine just ending early. <clears throat> or not end extreme early, I mean like ending the break early. Yeah, 2.14 left. Let's get back to work. Also, let me double check if the TTS is working. It should be working. I literally tested it earlier. Let's see, alerts. Default alerts. Channel point alerts. Uh, smoke or review. Born too late to explore the earth. Born too yeah, early working. to explore space. Maybe, maybe I just Born didn't just hear it earlier. Spam memes. Maybe I'm just deaf. No, but like for real, I swear, the hearing my left ear is going out. Like everything sounds like unbalanced in my headphones. And I don't know, I think this one's dying. Or maybe I really want to at some point get like those deep earwax cleanings. My sister got it done in Japan and she wants me to get one done here. And I do. Like, imagine everything that I could hear. You know what else I hear? That it's time for me to get back to work. Working a real 9 to 5, we're going back to sticky business. I definitely want to try and beat this game today. That is my goal. And if I don't beat it today, we'll just, uh, we'll just beat it during, like, a sub only. Okay, I'm going to verify that the game audio is still synced. It synced. No hiccups. It's been a long time since I've had a desync issue. I don't know why. I think it's an OBS issue. Because it never used to do it. And then it did all the time, and now it never does it. So, no sé, pero estoy contenta. Con contenta, I'm a girl. Okay, back to work. Oh, oh, it's the start of a new day. Three new orders. From Dawn, which flower? I started studying in my biology class at a cafe and met someone there who also studied for her classes. Oh, also, the staff asked me where I got those stickers. Smile. Everyone loves them. Why, well, you just tell them to go to peaceandart.myshopify.com and you can buy them. Hell yeah. From 
from Lorenzo Hall. From Declan King. All orders done. Man, I have so much time left in the day. You know what? Maybe I'll just make a design. I just have to double check what hollows I have. Let's see. I have hollow hearts, shimmer, snowflakes, eyes, and leaf. Let's do something with leaves. Because I have rat, boba, and capybara that I need to work towards. Okay, capybara's been bought. Now I need boba. One more boba, and then that set is complete. Yeah, I want to do something with leaves. I got three more slots open. so silly that it crops out the color wheel. A soft yellow? Because I think I only have blue and red flowers now. shaped pineapple for melon this flower in the center. Making shapes out of other shapes. Now something in the center. Pride. perfect circle. It's kind of an L. It's like a close enough circle. I think I want to put a heart in the middle because, you know, love wins. Ooh, 
Ooh, perfect. Well, it's a little bit off center, but it's okay. I love kaleidoscopes too. Oh, I'm just now realizing I can't translate or move everything at once. I have to keep everything contained in the circle for it to work. like that. Oh. No, I- wait. You can see the lines intersecting in the center. Sorry, I'm just looking at my really. You can see the lines over intersecting in the center most part, but I could just cover that with another circle. I don't know how I'm going to grab the circle now that I placed. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's just add another circle. There we go. I lost the circle again. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yep, I lost her. <laughs> okay.
There we go. The lidoscope. The light. The prideoscope. That. Floral. God. I press plus. Floral. I guess you could say it's like a mandala type design. Let me look up how to spell mandala. Yeah, it's spelled how you think. Mandala. Hollows. Two hundred dollars for more slots, but I already have. I think I have two slots left. Yeah. Let's get to printing. They look like little shields. Oh, they're so cute. I love it. I'm printing two of these bad boys. I need more shave ice and flower triangle. And another day of work complete. Three orders sent, zero failed. No hearts? Uh oh. But $114. Four new orders, let's go. From Tim K at Tim the Pen. My BFF Sanjay thinks your stickers slay. <laughs> he sent some from India in return, but I can't read the text. I need to learn Hindi. Sanjay speaks my language, but I don't speak his. Total cringe, lol. Yeah, you are cringe, Tim. Sorry, someone had to tell you. Hi, Ethan. Can we get some yos? Where is Pokemon? It's coming back on Friday. Don't worry. Don't worry. Is this game new? Yeah. It came out like a week and a half ago? It's on the Switch and Steam. Also, can we get some yo's? Hi, Ethan. I'm gonna try and beat it today. We got uh, three more hours left on my eight hour shift. The shimmer animation shows in this scene too. It's so nice. From Landon King. He wants 10? This guy has to be a librarian. From Caden Chavez. From Antonio Rod Rodriguez. I don't know why I rolled my R's at the start. <laughs> 
Did I make the stickers? Yes. The prem the premise of the game is there's like a sticker maker mode where they have like pre-rendered pixel art and then you make compositions and then you sell them in game. So yes, all the designs at the top is what I made earlier. Whirling Hollow with circle type designs. I have an idea. I'm not sure how it'll come out, but I'll try. Because we have a lot of time in game today. Now, I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> this is where I get lost. I wanted to make the rainbow S shape. Or I guess you can decrease it again. Aw, oh, dude, imagine that fit. Imagine. Size jump is too big. Dude. The shape here kind of looks like a soft serve dispenser, like the fountain of ice cream that comes out. I notice that I haven't made a lot of vertically, vertically long stickers. I make a lot of square around, so I need to play around with like shape more. I don't 
looks like an S with hearts. Because you could say that it's like clouds. Oh yeah, the white looks a lot better. I'm just guessing where the white is. Nope. White is up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Up four, right three. There we go. I kinda like this. More abstract. Let's make it. Name your sticker? Cloud S. Shimmer, simmer, shiny shimmer paper. Oh my god, I have the funniest idea for a stream. After the ad, I'll tell you guys. Because I don't want the non subs to hear this. Because you know what? We're five hours into stream, five, five hours into my shift, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if we got a free sub available. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, now that the non-subs are gone, if you're a non-sub watching the blood watching the VOD, plug your ears. So an I idea I have for like a random one-off just chatting stream is speed running tongue twisters. You guys know I have a stutter, I have a lisp. So speaking normally is difficult. So doing speed like speed running tongue twisters would be doubly difficult. But like that's not like a good enough idea on its own. What if I do that stream after I get my wisdom teeth pulled? <laughs> like I come home, I click go live, and then I do tongue twister. <laughs> I think it would be the stupidest, but also really fucking funny. I don't know, I've been cooking on that one a little bit. <laughs> okay. Welcome Cloud S to the team. I think the Cloud S is really cute. Man, I just want to keep making designs. I should really get rid of the Pride Cat. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh, but I should sell my inventory of it first. I just won't print anymore. Let's see. I have 49 of them. <laughs> it's gonna be a while till we get rid of them. Okay, I think this day is done. Another day, another dog. End of day 22, four order sent, zero failed. Finally some love. Four 
four new orders. Let's go. From Patrick K. At Patrick is here. Burned and I have started to walk the dogs at the shelter. Dogs are good at lifting spirits. He is so much happier now. From Patrick. I should make some dog stickers, huh? I guess I should. Let's add dog to the list. I think Patrick is trying to smash Burned. From King Brooks. From Lorenzo Taylor. From Elena Watson. They're buying the new S Cloud. S Cloud sounds like an esports board. Don't take the name. It's my IP. <laughs> All orders done for the day. I got half a day left. Oh wait, I can text people. Okay, so this just shows all the previous chat logs they sent in orders. Oh, that was spoilers. I didn't look. Let's see, I got half a day left. Let's do a little bit of shopping. Two hundred for more slots. I should probably buy that first. Now I'm broke. Oh, I do have the sparkling paws upgrade. I should probably make the ones that people ordered, so I need to make rat, capybara, boba dog. Let's buy a Shiba, which is dog. And then Bulba. They have an actual ice cream scoop sticker. I had no clue. Think of what I can add to Boba. What is hands? Oh, 
they have washi tape. Cute. Montañas. Eh. There's literally a sun. Okay, that's all. I don't have any ideas for how to do boba yet. Okay, well, let's get to make it. doesn't fit. could add tiny 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 smiles to the actual pearls that would make this game complete oops okay that's as close as i'm gonna get it you can't tell it's fine Basic, but they said they wanted a boba sticker. They they can have it. I don't think there's a way that I can like push this. What if I just have like a rainbow in every sticker? <laughs>
Okay, not everything has to be pride. We're getting rid of the rainbows. Just a simple, smiling boba tea. Maybe a little bow tie? Nah, that looks silly. This one should probably just be a normal sticker. I think the best craftsmanship is the mandala. That looks pretty cool. to go boba order. I just want a milli. Man, it has 42 only. I'm broke. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, let's go to bed and forget that happened. You guys didn't see anything. Four order sent, zero failed. Okay, max level on the blue flowers. Four new orders. Let's print first. From Alex Guy at Blunk Blunk. Students in my class started trading stickers, and with your stickers, I was so popular. One kitty. One kid even made me a homemade sticker. How cool. My friends and I are all starting a sticker collection and even got to trade a bunch with Hannah. Okay, who's Hannah? Why are these people yapping so much to me? I don't know about their lives. From Hannah Sky. Oh, it's this Hannah. Ah, blink, blink. Hello! Oh my god, I can't believe you made a custom sticker for us! I'll get it for my sister Alex's birthday. I'm sure she'll love it. Oh yeah, they wanted the boba. Came just in time then. From Violet Wood. From Adam Harris. All orders done for the day. more slots. I don't have enough money for more hollows. Mm -hmm. 
I'll make something with a dog. It's been long enough. I'll do it for the fans. Even though I'm a dog, I'm not a dog enjoyer. I like cats a lot more. I'll make a dog. smaller it's way too big you know cat pride was popular dog pride Dog Pride has entered the chat. <laughs> I'll make a normal dog one another day. But if we have Cat Pride, we need Dog Pride. Perfect. I know there was someone ages ago who requested small stickers, so I think I'm just gonna make like mini mini ones tomorrow. I don't know if it's part of the story, but we'll see. Pride cat is so dumb. <laughs> At least pride dog or dog pride is centered. Good time. Four orders sent, zero failed. Hundred and thirty hearts earned, that's a lot in one day. Are we no orders? From Sanjay. At Sanjoy. Hey there, my friend Timothy from England sends me your amazing stickers all the time. It's so weird. He's far away, but we're the closest of friends. That's why your stickers mean so much to me. I'll put some on my school books too. Oh, so cute. Lorenzo Taylor. From Remy Campbell. All orders done for the day. Very nice. Yeah, you can definitely see how my style has evolved over the past few hours. 
And then just simply dog pride. <laughs> I want to make another kaleidoscope, but I have to, I have to make a rat and a capybara. animal and then the pride flag. <laughs> Red pride. Get pride, dog pride. We need it. We need it. Rat cone. <laughs> Rat banana. Could be riding on like a surfboard. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I can make this work. not sneeze in the sticker box. I would never. of how to make waves. Watch there be like a wave PNG. Yeah, like you can tell that's a wave.
It's fine if it's like a little bit off, I don't care. It's a wave. Do we need a sun? In. Almost perfect is fine. Está bien. Solo quiero hacer un una rata. <laughs> I just want to make a rant. But you know what else I want? New followers. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in stream. Another 30 minutes into my 8 hour shift. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to dive a chance. Isn't that pretty cool? If you follow right now, I'll give you a high five. I'm not even kidding. Once in a lifetime opportunity, my knee hurts. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I just thought of something funny. I'm thinking of like what to call this sticker, like just brainstorming, and I almost said ranch riding banana, which would be very bad. <laughs> Well, it's been a long time since I've ridden a banana. Anyway. Back to work. No more time off task. Oh, seriously? Dude, that little sliver. Crooked. That doesn't look good. There we go. Rat surfing on banana. <laughs> Dude, the devs watching this shaking their heads. <laughs> you know, I think it's pretty good. Okay, any other flaws before I click create? I'm not seeing anything. 
Wait, I think I can make sun rays. Oh yeah, it's just really tiny. Rather than making stickers, this feels like I'm making a paper cut. Okay, I kind of hate this sun rays. It ruins it. I almost deleted the large square. Don't tell me I can't click on it now. Thank goodness. The run would have been ruined. Okay, I only got 25 characters. Rat. On. Not X. Rat on banana. You have to be very straightforward with your titles for your artwork, because remember keywords? Rat on banana surfboard. <laughs> you know, I think this is my best design yet. And I'll print it on white paper. Oh my god, I pressed B. I'll do face cam top right for the fans so that way you can see me typing. Rant on banana surfboard. The design is complete. Banana surfboard looks really cool. I like it so much. It's usually whenever I do artsy games like this, I don't do silly stuff. That's why I kind of like doing it on stream. Like, I if I were doing this offline, I would just make designs. Like this. I like kaleidoscopes a lot. But... Banana surfboard? A banana sunset? I mean, not banana. Bunny sunset. <laughs> Bunny sunset. Everything else I have like 30 plus of, I think. Oh, banana sunset. Cat book. I keep on saying bananas in a bunny. I just have bananas on the mind. Time. I can move a buy stuff? I got 200 bucks. Let's get glitter shards. Mm 
Yeah, I have no other special requests right now. Bedtime. End of day 25. Three orders sent, zero failed. Very nice. Five new orders? from Inspector P at Peanut Butter. The stickers might come from your shop, but be safe. I need you to create a sticker for me. I need a, I need a new sticker with a derpy face. Add as many elements as you wish, but make it stylish so that the sticker Vanda will order. From Inspector P. So, a derpy face. I thought we weren't allowed to say derpy anymore. I think we need to cancel Detective P, I mean Inspector P. He's only ordering stickers that have the emoticon faces on them. Interesting. From Robert Bray at Be Free. Today was the last day of my old job, and tomorrow I'll go on a vacation to Scotland before I start my new job as a gardener. I was so afraid, but now I'm so happy that I decided to quit. Oh, following their dreams. I'm so happy for them. I wish I could do that. What is my dream? I don't know what my dream is. I just want to be content with my day-to-day, -day, like, honestly. And I feel like I'm doing that for the most part. If I had money, then I would be good, but we're getting there. From Daisy at Artsy Fartsy. Time for more stickers! A person I met at the cafe also really likes stickers. This order will be a little present for her, so thank you for helping me study. She is also a student, but at another university. Cool. Man, people are not buying dog pride as much as cat pride. For Aleo Wilson. From Zion Morales. All orders done for the day. We might have time to make a new design, but... I don't think so. Gotta buy all the faces. There's no derpy. Let's get surprised and sassy and happy because that costs 50 total. Only face I have left is scared. time for one sticker. I have an idea for a heart sticker. And then I do different faces on the hearts. Like a Valentine's Day one.
Or maybe just two hearts. Yeah, just two. I think layer three is a bit weird. in the front is rising. Shock face looks really weird when it's larger. Gotta do my signature blush. is a lot better. Okay, it makes more sense to have the heart in the back smirking. Oh, shoot. Dang, Twee's just grabbing the wrong thing. Also, I kind of want to add eyebrows. Black is up five.
He's going like... <laughs> Let's do hearts. We gotta do the heart hollow, of course. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I nothing will beat rat on a banana surfboard, nothing will beat it. I peaked. I really want to get 21 orders in a day. 20 orders would make bank. Three new orders from question mark, question mark, question mark, at not a frog, require adhesive decals. Piece of decals? What? Then the shop. Oh, and piece of decals could be washi tape. I saw washi tape here. Oh, right here. Up. Man, they called it striped washi tape? Damn. Oh, I have washi tape already. the leaf one though. Why not? Damn, they're getting eight of the hearts in love. They must love love. From Adam Harris. Finally, somebody's buying my right on a banana surfboard sticker. Ezra Anderson. Also, I have to mute. I have to mute.
My sister wanted to say hi. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Now, where was I? She liked all my cat stickers. <laughs> All orders done for the day. Only two slots left. Okay, I still need to make something with a capybara. I did derpy face. Now I need washi tape. I want to make more vertical stickers. Washi tape pride. <laughs> Okay, I have no clue how I can incorporate the pattern rectangle that I cannot change the color of. I guess I could make it like a border. line up properly. I love that. Perfecto! Eh, now what? <laughs> Wait, what if I just do this? This is requiring all my concentration. And you know what else I require? Subscriptions, because guys, I'm six hours into stream. It does not feel like it's been six hours. But you know what that means? I got two hours left and it's time for me to run an ad. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if we got a sub available. Do it now. Do it now. Can we get to a million subs today? I think we can. It legit does not feel like it's been six hours. Usually at the six hour mark, I'm dead.
back to lining up this washi tape. Oh my god. Please just let me, let me, let me, please, they should have like a lock option. I know I'm complaining a lot, but this is still like a decent, like, UI. Am I gonna beat the game today? I don't know. Maybe? We'll see. I am like spending a lot of time actually designing. Yeah, usually done energy-wise by the time I get home. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is not gonna work like I want it to. No! The tile is ruined. The tile doesn't like repeat. Man. See, like, it's too long. This is not gonna work. No sé qué puedo hacer. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I can do. Ah. Uh. Has this been your favorite 9 to 5 sim game so far? I think Power Wash Simulator was like the best RP and had the best jokes. But this one, I could legit play all day and not feel bad about it. I think it's because this one has like creative elements to it. So like, I'm still like, feel like I'm like engaging my brain a little bit. I have an idea and this might be a cop out, but there yeah, we just cover the bottom. See, perfecto. I miss Power Wash. I'll come back to it at some point. It's just like, it wasn't like super engaging for me. Like gameplay wise. Like it was still really fun. To hmm. I wish I could write text. I would put your mom. <laughs> Handmade. We're copping out. Using words for the first time today. Washi tape, though. I had an idea, like, to make it look like a beanstalk, but since... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's not over yet. Just a minute. I know I spent so long aligning these, but don't you fret. <laughs> My hard work is not for nothing.
I'm making a little flower tray, flower pot. It's not a pot. Trough? No. Flower bin? I have no clue what you would call it. Flower trough. <laughs> Dude, it looks so dumb. I hate the washi tape. Sometimes the customer is not right. Washi tape is meant to be used as like decorative for borders, not for like making a composition, typically. You know, some people can do it, but not me. I don't like the pot. I already have another design with a pot. I'll keep... We'll make this, like, the faux pot. Ow. I hit my hand. These aren't lining up. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. I think the flower tree idea looks a lot better than what I what, had earlier. It's fine. That design wasn't too hard to replicate. Please tell me it saves at the end of every day. There was no option to manually save. Oh no. There is a continue option. Okay, so it saves at the end of every day, so I just have to remail these packages. That's fine. That's a okay. Let's do this again. I'm speedrunning. I'm not reading the text again.
Oh, that probably means I have to buy the washi tape again. Let's make this silly little flower pot again. I think I'm going to put five brands. So I want it to be fully covered.
There we go, flower pot. Actually, I want to make the white border smaller. Oh, it's not aligned. I see a gap here. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, it was your birthday last week. Can we get some feels birthday mans for Chip? Hope you had a good birthday, man. I think I'm gonna bring these in a little bit more. here just to fill in the white gaps. There we go. Now this design is done. Train. And of course, we're doing it with a floral radiance. Another day, another dollar. to mochi nut nice i tried mochi donuts for the first time a few months ago and dude they're pretty freaking good but i would not get them again mainly because my sister likes them so i know if i ask she's gonna buy like a dozen and we don't need a dozen <laughs> man that sounds like a pretty good birthday man you know, all you need is good friends, good food, and then you're set. I'm glad you got I'm glad you had a good birthday, Chip. Yeah, the only thing I need to reprint is hearts in love <laughs> yeah my birthday was pretty good i still have to go out with my friends to eat it's just hard to find a day where everybody can go because my my best friends have been working weekends more huge l you know spending less time with me I can print one more thing. I need more cat in the flower pot. The day is done. Now we can go to bed. Three orders sent, zero failed.
six orders? Oh my god. From Tim. Hey, I need more stickers. My BFF Sanjay and I are shooting letters around the world like crazy. I never met him, but we're like so alike. We get each other, you know? He's fam. <laughs> Dude, I love Tim. <laughs> He's just a little zoomer. He speaks like I do. Violet Stone, new customer. At Violet Stone. I'm purchasing stickers for my daughter, Emily. She used to love stickers. I don't know if she'd look at them twice now. Teenagers, am I right? So much angst and anger. Especially now with the upcoming exams. Sometimes it's not easy being a single mom. Maybe the stickers will help? Oh. Maybe if you just, like, talk to your kid. Granted, I didn't want to talk to my mom. <laughs> As a teenager or now. I haven't talked to her in a year and a half. Anyway. Question mark, question mark, question mark. At not a frog. Glorp exquisite extra exquisite extraterrestrial adhesive appendage. Oh, so he wants the alien washi tea? Bruh. Go picky. I spent ages making the flower pot washi tape and he doesn't like it? From Leonardo Gutierrez. From Juniper Allen. From Jonah Reed. Have a great day! Oh, they're so nice. All orders done. I'm not gonna have time to make a design today. Which kind of sucks. But you know what? It just be like that. Okay, not a frog said they wanted alien washi tape. Or extraterrestrial adhesive. So that means they probably want a design that has washi tape and aliens. Oh, I can create. Nice. I just won't have time to print. I'm gonna keep this one simple. No border. Flip the galaxy upside down. Make the UFO like a hat. <laughs> I think it could work. I had stars. 
sprinkles can be stars. These are like planets. the best I can do, man. We're just gonna call this one Tumblr. And then... Glitter Shards. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. I did that one for the fans, not for me. I don't feel the passion behind that piece. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta get a bag. You know who else can get a bag? People who follow the channel. Because guys, we're another 30 minutes in. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? Ooh, I'm out of slots. Cringe. Also, my day is over. Day 28, six orders sent, zero failed. Very nice. A lot of money, 235? Yo. Six new orders? Different hearts. Hearts and alien. Davis, Spaceman. <laughs> hey, uh, I tried a trick with my skateboard and well, now I'll have to stay in the hospital. It's just so boring. I thought it'd be a good idea to order some neat stickers to put on my leg cast. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but thanks for, thanks for the order. And no, I cannot pay your medical bills. Dude, he's buying 12 of the alien Tumblr stickers. <laughs> from Alex Sky at Blunk Blunk. I got some stickers as a present from my sister Hannah. We'll use them to decorate my room a little bit. I'm so excited. Dawn at Witchflower. Daisy is also one of your customers? She is the person I was talking about. How funny fate can be sometimes. Now you got something to talk about on your little study date. From Aiden Scott. From Kaden Lewis. Man, no 
Nobody's buying my rat on a banana surfboard. They don't see the true artistry behind it. All orders done for the day. And my wait, my day is just about done. I need more store slots. Let's see, the person wanted washi tape and aliens. I guess I should just buy all the washi tape. Now I'm broke. I need happy cone or cute cone, I think I called it. Cat and flower pot tea. And the day is done. Six orders sent, zero failed. Man, 160 hearts in a day. That's pretty damn good. Three new orders. From Ruby King. Finally, somebody's seeing my archery buying three of the rat on a banana surfboard. <laughs> I had to go back because I accidentally placed one extra cat in the sun sticker. King. Dude, why is everybody buying the cringe alien sticker? I hate this. All orders done. Now for the washi tape. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Oh, I don't have the right color.
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. And of course... He's gonna have an ice cream cone. Oh no, the circle's too big. God damn it. He's going to have a rainbow snow cone. No. Come on, let me have something nice. He now has an orange in his ice cream cone. She tape an alien. I had to do it. Happy. <laughs> And that's okay. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot. <laughs> one of those when they sell out I'm I'm removing it Okay cat in the sun rats are for it
Cat and Teeth. Another day, another doll. Three orders sent, zero failed. Only eighty dollars, cringe. I'm so popular. Inspector P at Peanut Butter. It is true! They definitely ordered your creations. The stickers were attached to a monolith, and I just saw a suspicious-looking person lurking there. I'll follow them. If I don't write you again, do inform the authorities. Inspector P. And he loved my alien stickers. at the animal shelter as soon as I feel good enough. Honestly, for the first time now, the thought of quitting my job makes me feel relieved. Wait, I still need to make the capybara sticker for Bernard. Madeline Stewart. Give me them sticky goodies. Chavez. All orders done for the day. Bears. I know they live in more jungle. Wait, Cappy Bear of Pride. <laughs> Can never go wrong with Pride. I always see illustrations of Cappy Bears in like hot tubs or like hot springs. Happy Bear Cone. Maybe with green tea could be kind of good. I'm buying the star sparkle because I was thinking about it earlier. Capybara mustache would go crazy.
I just have the best idea. I'll save it for the dog. I missed the mustache. I bought it. Donde esta? Oh, right here. It was yellow. I gotta look up how to spell capybara. Capybara, C A P Y B E or B A R A. Capybara. I wasn't sure if mustache was going to fit, but it will. Happy Barrow with mustache. <laughs> no, God. It always makes me exit out. It's so dumb. I have to type it in again. On a white paper, capybara with mustache. I don't know if I spelled mustache right, but it's fine. Oh well. Day 31, officially a month running my business. Five orders sent, zero failed. Very nice. Three new orders. Dawn at Witchflower. The reason I started playing pen and paper. We use your stickers to decorate our notes. I also wanted to say that it is really brave to open your shop. I always dreamed about selling cute notebooks. Aww. 
Should I get her a notebook? No, it costs a hundred dollars. Not worth it. You know, I shouldn't be giving away too many freebies. Especially a whole book that's like a ten dollar value. Sometimes. From Cameron Phillips. From Declan King. color palette unlocked. I don't think there's anything else I have to make. Oh. Wait, there was something I did want to buy. exactly 20. I think some of you guys can guess where this is going.
and of course I gotta add a son. And then a heart? Because the dog loves you. Oh, that's too big. Kind of want to bring back this idea. Still too big. I really want to add like stinky lines. <laughs> oh wait, this maybe could work? It kind of works. Okay, that, that kind of looks like stinky lines, like, you know, the wigglies. And of course, I gotta make the dog blushing. I gotta. Because he's so embarrassed. Yeah. 
And I think is one final touch. show that it's sad we have to make downturned eyebrows so it's kind of like like that <laughs> There we go, masterpiece! Sparkling paws. <laughs> Is this what the devs wanted? You know what I do want though to run an ad because guys, we're seven hours in the stream. I I legit forgot. I was I was locked in. We only have we only have an hour left together for my shift, so or less than an hour. It's four o two, so fifty eight minutes. Look at the clock. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link the Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Brum. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Do it now. Man, only one hour left. I want to keep playing. No, I want. This is really fun. I don't know if it's like as fun to watch, but I, I like doing it. I like kind of breaking the rules with the pre made stickers. I'll have to watch the trailer again to see, like, the examples the devs made. Fans are gonna love the uh oh stinky. <laughs> Ooh, barely fits. Two of these bad boys, these are gonna sell like hotcakes. Who doesn't love hot, stinky memes? I need more boba and alien. another dollar we order sent zero failed
Four new orders from Violet Stone at Violet Stone. I think Emily liked the stickers. At least she didn't want to throw them away or rip them to shreds. She's not really talking to me, so all I can do is guess. I'll order some different ones this time and stick one in her lunchbox. Man, you're still packing your kid's lunch as a teenager? Bro. I wish I had that. Now, I very, very rarely packed a lunch, because I was always eligible for free or reduced lunch, so... You know, I was eating that school slop every day. Chavez. Wait, why is nobody buying the uh oh stinky? Come on, it's so good. I swear, the more complex compositions I make, nobody buys. I hate being an artist. game is endless you just have to make a sticker of every theme it seems because the new people spawn which makes sense <laughs> should I do poop with every animal <laughs> three slots left so probably we only probably got time for maybe two more stickers max let's see how am i inspired today hmm make another mandala. It's about time.
I don't want to make a cross. I want to try and make a scepter, but it's kind of difficult to make one. Without it looking like a cross. Oh shoot. Pink looks a lot better. I think I'll go with the larger plume leaves. The green matches the color palette a little bit better.
don't think I'm putting the leaves at the right angle, but it's okay. I wish I could rotate it in the game. I'm locked in. Something at right, because it should be fully symmetrical. There's too much space on the top, or on the left and right sides. No sé. I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, these are all facing the right way. Stop yet. I don't care. No me importa. I'm gonna add one more foliage to fill in the empty space above the butterflies.
There we go. Oh, I don't have a lavender. The lavender would be too close. Maybe cream? It's too yellow. Let's try this. It actually, I kind of like it without the yellow border. It's done. And the farm clicks? To farm clicks, I'm going to call this Fairy Mandala. Because it has sparkles and wings. And we're trying to get the keywords on Etsy right now. Fairy Mandala. And I'll do... Leafy Luminosity. Another sticker complete. There's like one spot where it fits. Come on. Yes. Not a single scrap wasted. Sliver left of the day. If not, I got enough stickers. So I need one flower washi tape. There we go. Another successful day. Four packages sent, zero failed. Three orders, slow day. From Angel Dumas, new customer, at Angel Plays. A sticker shop with gamer stickers? That's so awesome. I'm currently trying to start my YouTube channel and stream from time to time. Wish me luck. Hey, me too. That's pretty radical. Why don't we do a collab, Angel? Yeah, whenever you get new theme stickers, new customers spawn. Man, dude, it would- How is this game only seven hours long? I guess most don't, like, spend 20 minutes per sticker.
And someone finally bought a uh oh stinky. Angel's great. From Eden King. From Brielle Green. My hands are getting sweaty. I'm working so hard. My controller's slipping out of my hands. And people say streaming's not hard work. One slot left. I guess I should focus on getting one sticker from every niche. through like a few days so like maybe three days in game i'll design more stickers right now i need to focus on just getting money One last sticker because I only have one slot left. If I make a witch one, surely somebody will spawn. Oh, yeah, and I just bought a black kit. Into this mushroom will cause some trouble. <laughs> toil, toil, trouble. <laughs>
And of course, I gotta make the cat blush. It's my signature. Ooh. I need to add some bones. Toil, toil and bubble. How much longer? I got less than 30 minutes left. I'm about ready to clock out. I can feel the delusion now. Okay, I don't like the bone. It's, it's too straight. All the other forms on the bottom are round and organic. The bone stands out too much. Let's add the blush and wait. This might be my best of the day. None of these pinks really match. I think the light pink. No, second lightest. Maybe I can add more of those squigglies? Yes, those. too big ding it's fine i think this is pretty solid though yeah this one needs a border i wish i could draw like a hand there was a witch's hand in the store this might be my best of the day no joke Oh wait, no, 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 no. I gotta, the blue flower is behind the mushroom. I have to fix that. Okay, now the flower's in front of everything. Mushroom's in front of the grass. Can I add a face to the cat? Okay, it doesn't line up, dang. I know you can buy, like, 
a big eye googly eye sticker. Yeah, I think this is a good comp. Now, of course, we gotta call it Cat Cauldron. How do I spell cauldron? I have an idea. I think it's C-A-U. Cauldron. Yeah, C-A-U-L-D-R-1. That was close. Cat Cauldron. Whoa, that looks crazy. I really do appreciate how it gives you like a preview. Prism Trails. I haven't used this one yet. Man, look at this bad boy. Ooh, I bet if I try hard, I can maybe fit four per row. Yes, I can. Man, I fit four more bad boys on here. Okay, at least it's listed in my shop. So that's probably gonna be our last design of the day. For our remaining 20 minutes left of our shift, I'll just grind out days in game to get money. That way next time I play this, we'll have money! Money, money, money! I really do wanna delete Pride Cat, but there, it's just not selling. Nobody's buying it. To bed I go. Oh, I- oh yeah, I have no money to print. It's fine. End of day 34. Reorder sent. Zero failed. Since we're nearing the last 20 minutes, if you guys have any smoogle reviews that you want to submit after seeing me work all day, any critiques about any specific designs? Feel free to leave a review. Give us five stars. Six orders! Oh my god! Tim. At Tim the Pen. I learned some Hindi and wrote my BFF. Sanjay was so happy. LOL. Now I need to learn more. Can you create a sticker for me with writing utensils? Just for luck, so I keep learning. Writing utensils? He sounds like a freaking nerd. But sure, man. How can I say no to my favorite customer?
from Inspector Pete. At Peanut Butter, me again. It turned out the guy I followed was heading to a costume party. Should've known this. No one could play stickers anywhere wearing those paw gloves, and his cat ears didn't even look that real. I think he just doesn't want to admit that he's like, interested in furries. And look, he bought my new cat sticker. He's such an easy read. Like, I get that he's a raccoon, but still. Yeah, it looks like Inspector P buys anything that has a face on it. Oh. I didn't print any of my cats. Oopsie. complete. From Carla F. New customer. At Carla Sophie. I just found your shop. It's super cute. Looking forward to all your sticker creations. I also have a sticker shop. No! Follow for follow is banned! No! Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Whenever you see the posts on TikTok or Instagram being like, oh my god, let's follow, comment, and engage so we can help each other grow. Don't do it! They're scamming. They're wasting your time. Just make more art. Don't engage with those posts. I also have a sticker shop, but I'm going for a different style. I'm a fan of mushroom stickers. I need more of them. Oh, that's why they spawned, because I had a single mushroom. Okay, mushrooms. Man, it probably is going to take forever to unlock every single customer. But you know what? It's fine. I love my job. From Claire Evans. From Bo Lee. I think Bo Lee likes ice cream. They only buy cones. Not gonna lie, I love ice cream too, man. I'm not judging you. You know, people are so predictable. done for the day. Cat in the sun. Shave ice. Cat cone. left to unlock. Yep, that's all I can do for the day. To bed I go. Six orders sent, zero failed.
Less than 15 minutes left. Guys, get ready to spam. You were here. 200 hearts? Holy moly. Four more orders. From Max Davis at Spaceman. You'd think decorated leg casts are for children, but nope. My leg looks much cooler now. Happy face. Yes, please buy more pride cats, please. I don't want them. At Daisy, or Daisy, at Artsy Fartsy. We decided to open our own shop. No, no, the follow, the follow. You got the courage to do it. I will do the artwork and Don will handle the business part. We'll move in together and operate everything from there. Thank you for being yourself, Daisy. Gage. Oop. I think I misclicked. Yeah, I did. Shoot. Can't be giving away free product. You know, I'm my only employee. I can't fire myself. From Adam Harris. From Parker Reed. 25 cat books. That's the largest item quantity I've seen. They must be a librarian. Or they like apples. Maybe they're a dentist. Or a dentist librarian. They volunteer on the weekends. Cat books. Happy Cone, Rabbit in Sunset, Rat on Banana Surfboard. Okay, I forgot already. Rat. Sunset Happy Cone Book. Happy Cone. Sunset. Uh, me every day. Rat on surfboard. Eh. There's one more. Oh yeah, cat book. Offer two in case he comes back tomorrow. I got 210 love. Only one more color to unlock. Nice. I said I wasn't going to keep printing the happy alien. But you know what? It kind of sells, so might as well. People like bad art, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Eight minutes left. Four orders sent. Zero failed.
Another day, another doll. Only two orders? I got ratioed. Lorenzo Taylor, these are some nice stickers you have there. Uh, thank you, sir. Please buy all of them. From Audrey Nguyen. They like all my kaleidoscope. I mean, my mandala stickers. I spent so much time on them. Thank you. They must like flowers, not mandalas. The fairy one looks sick, though. Not a good, like, sticker design, but it looks cool. Oh, I almost forgot stickers. They want three of the floral triangle. Oh, I accidentally printed too many cat books. Oops. We should have a sale. Yeah, I don't need to print anything. I don't want to waste my money. And finally, the last color swatch. Purchase 33 out of 33. Now I'm going to start buying the different color sticker borders you can choose. This doesn't look like pink. That looks like... Barf. You know what also makes me want to barf? Seeing non-subs in the chat. <laughs> I'm kidding. Guys, we are eight hours in the stream, six minutes left of my shift, so if you don't want to miss the final minutes, subscribe now. Do it. I'm so- I'm so tired now. <laughs> I'll be okay. Five minutes left! I do- I think I want 100% this game. <laughs> As crazy as that sounds, I kind of want to. I'm going to bed. Two orders sent. No failures. Only seventy dollars. I'm broke. Three new orders from Emily S. M. New customer. Hiya. I think my mom ordered stickers from you. Oh my god, it's the Bergrudgelin team. Your art is so kawaii. <laughs> They're not an anarchist. They just like anime. <laughs> I put those stickers everywhere. Algebra and Biology mutate into Sticker Algebra and Sticker Biology. Can I ask more, please? Oh my god, stop. I need some cute Days of the Week stickers to plan my days until the exams. You're so cringe. Please just stop. At least they love the, the flower triangle. Nobody else likes it. From Leonardo Gutierrez. From Camden Wilson.
Yep, no need to print anything. Since I have a larger inventory, I really only need at least 15 of any snicker. Of any sticker. Not snicker. Even though a snicker bars does sound good. The Milky Way is a lot better. Snicky bars? <laughs> Snickers bars. The peanuts are too big. I'm not gonna say the obvious joke. Oh shit, I bought something. No, what did I buy? The game glitches all the time. I'm going to bed. Wait, no, I have this mail. Oops. I'm going to bed now. I'm so angry. Two minutes left. We can do one more day. And by we, I mean me. You guys are doing none of the work. No hearts! No! I got no love. Two orders today. No lore update. From Liam Young. All the orders from today. Only two more upgrades after this. I'll buy cardboard, why not? And it's 4.59, so that means we gotta do one more day. some arts please come on last day it's officially 5 p.m i'm ready to clock out but we'll do one more day for the fans five orders i'm gonna make bank max davis at spaceman i've finally been dismissed from the hospital my roommates and i decided to stay in contact as we live pretty close to each other and they also skate i never imagined that i would meet new friends in the hospital Happy face. Isn't it like kind of really messed up how you have to share a hospital room with people? Like, especially during pandemic, I understand that, like, dude, there's so much horrible shit that happened during the peak of the pandemic. It's still ongoing. People still die. People still get infected because not enough people get vaccinated. Get your vaccines, everybody. Get your boosters. Flu vaccines as well. Make sure you're up to date on your flu vaccine too. It just goes to show like how broken our system is. Like if we get hit with another wave, like a huge wave or any other pandemic or mass casualty event, dude, we're all fucked. That's why do what you can to minimize community spread, wear a mask, get vaccinated, all that jazz. I see this guy likes aliens. You know, the bad thing about having your own business is that you can never truly clock off. You're getting emails and texts and phone calls and orders all through the night. Enjoy your free time while you have it, y'all. No, but like, for real? I miss... Okay, streaming is not a job, yet. I don't make sustainable income. But like, with a traditional job, you clock in, you clock out, and that's it. I love that so much. Like, yeah, your boss can call you, but like, you don't legally have to pick up. If they ask you to, hey, can you cover a ship? You don't legally have to cover it, so, you know what, they can take the L. Angel Dumas, at Angel Plays. I just reached 100 followers, but I'm struggling right now and don't know what to stream. It's so boring to show the mainstream games everyone else plays, but I'm a bit scared to lose my followers if I change my content. But first, stickers! Honey, 
You have a hundred followers. That not to not to follow shame, but if you have a hundred followers, nobody gives a shit what you do. Okay? You just do what you wanna do. Dude, I have eight hundred and it's been eight hundred and forty to eight forty five because people unfollow. But that's okay. I've been streaming for almost three years. It doesn't matter if people watch you or not. It doesn't matter if you have one or a hundred viewers or a thousand viewers. As long as you do what you genuinely want to do and you're happy like when you're on camera, it doesn't matter. That's why like, I just click go live and do whatever the fuck I want. And you know what? It's still fun after nearly three years. I'm not coping. My fingers are not crossed. See? My, my controller is so sweaty. Okay, I'm three minutes over time. I need to focus. I'm fidgeting more. Oh no. Oh no. That means I'm tired. Bro, I have no idea how I used to do like 10 12 hour shifts. No wonder my body's so broken now. In my brain. Two more orders left. Or three more. I lied. Man, I really love my mandala stickers. They're so pretty. From Lucy Patel. It seems like Lucy likes the blue flowers. From Isaac Watson. Isaac likes the floral, the ones that he uses grass. Floral triangles. Uh oh, stinkies. Cat. Pauldron. A. Mustache. Floral triangle. Capybara. Okay, I got it. I got it. I thought your shift was over. I'm doing overtime! I can't leave these people hanging. There we go. Another day, another dollar. I'm going to bed. Stream ends when you beat the game. No, I don't even think I'm halfway through, man. <laughs> it's because I bought the DLC. The DLC has like extra characters and extra sticker options, so I, I kind of cooked myself. Stream does not end when I beat the game. <laughs> Yo, 95 love! And $193. The game is saved. Two orders, huge L. And there we have it. That is my first eight, or not eight. That is my first seven and a half hours of the Sticky Business game. I did get the full DLC bundle because it was on sale when the game initially came out earlier in mid-April. And honestly, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I get that it's like a cozy game. It's not super like engaging but i love the sticker mechanic it felt like i was making paper cuts because it had the mechanic of like layering images on top or behind each other it's very much like how i personally make paper cuts on my own so i th i thought it was really cool how you could kind of break 
and use the images in like unconventional ways. I, I am kind of excited to see like how other people made pieces in this game. I'll have to look on YouTube or Twitter later. But yeah, that was another successful 9 to 5 shift. You guys were here. I'm tired. Let's wrap it up. Don't worry, I think I will play more of Sticky Business. I'm not sure if people will enjoy watching it live. But you know what, this will probably be, probably be like... Either for sub only streams or maybe for another 9 to 5. Because I was thinking about it. Like some of the 9 to 5 games we can do again. But I don't know if I want to do them for like another 8 hour sitting. I don't know, I'll think about it. Okay guys, I'm hot, I'm sweaty. I did write down what else I need to make for stickers. So I can't lose this. Oh, also guys. We did get gifted subs today and resubs. So you know what? We get to do calligraphy. So you know the drill. Use your channel points or subscribe and I'll write your name. Do it right now because I need to go hang out with my favorite sister. Calligraphy time. You can hide the live split. We're not on the clock anymore. Also, let's turn off this music. The music was nice. I didn't get sick of it, but... Let's get some real music on. I can stop my live split. There we go. Como se dice... Sticker in Spanish. Let's do Chill Wee Series Music Mix. I hope this music is chill. Just a gentle reminder to the Oilers in chat. I will be drawing portrait sketch cards on stream either this weekend or Monday. Monday I have to go to the dentist and get my teeth cleaned. So you guys are going to see super clean teeth on Monday. So... I still need pictures from, and this includes March and April's gifters, okay? I need a picture from Alex Lucx, Keelan, Cole Bobo, Not Mac, and Kim Pewter. If you don't want a picture, if you don't want a sketch card, that's totally fine. If you don't want to do like a photo of yourself, I am willing to do a picture of a game character. Okay? We can compromise. But those are the people I need... I can't see it. Um, flip it. Screenshot and flip it. The only picture I have right now is for Electra. So I, I need those by Friday. I will also post on Twitter tomorrow just to remind you guys because I'm, I'm not going live tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm, uh, I have appointments and I want to rest and edit. So next time I'll be live is Friday. Oh no, for peace lock. I don't want to do peace lock. Can we can we just forget peace lock ever happened? Can we just like erase it? I don't want to do it. I mean, I'll do it, but like if I have to reset, I'm literally never fucking playing Pokemon again. I'm never going to play again. Thank you for redeeming, Cool Bobo. What did you guys think of Sticky Business? I would say... Uh, 8 out of 10. It would be a 9 out of 10 if they changed some of the UI functions to be more like Photoshop.
Wait, I think Emmy said she's gonna go live today. Shoot, she's not live. She usually streams at like 7 or 8 p.m. So even now it's a bit too early. And like, I go to bed at 7 or 8, so like I can't watch her live anymore. Once again, thank you to Emmy B for the 26 month resub. Thank you, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Oh my, I'm so tired. <laughs> I need to, like, not close my eyes. I'm gonna, like, face plan on my desk. Once again, thank you, Keelan, for the 15th, 15 month resub. I appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Dude, my flowers are so messy. <laughs> like to preface when i do peace lock on friday it's not gonna be a seven hour grind okay it's gonna be like a four or five hour session i've already done long streams this week or today i guess once again thank you alex for the four gifted to the chat room today blessing four people with emotes thank you for your donation Oh, also, since Alex helped hit our sub goal today, I will do a bonus sub only stream sometime. I'll do another one this week. Um, maybe Saturday. Maybe I don't know. Depends on if my I'm busy. I don't know if I'm busy yet. We have one more name left, right? If anybody else wants the name written, please redeem now. Sorry, I hit my mic. I got angry. So I chucked a pencil at it. I also wanted you guys to like, hear the ASMR of the pencil.
I'm not looking forward to summer. Our our landlord still didn't fix our AC. So like it doesn't cool at all. We're gonna die again. I don't want to. Okay, guys, I'm done. No dilly dallying, I'm done. Uh, estoy cansado y tengo que hacer muchas cosas. I'm tired and I have to do many things. Like wash the dishes, ew. Hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? I hope you guys enjoyed the classic monthly 9 to 5 sim stream. This technically counts as April's, so that means I'll do another one during May. Since it's now officially May, I can leak what May's theme is. The theme for this month is... Mario. Because the new Paper Mario comes out later this month, so I'm going to be playing a variety of Mario games. That includes Wii games. Um, I do have a Paper Mario game on the Wii. It may include some, like, old Mario games. Possibly. Maybe Mario Galaxy will make a comeback? Just kidding, I'm not playing that stupid game again. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, thank you to Alex Those CX for the four gifted to the chat room. I appreciate you. And Keelan and Emmy Beef for the tier one resubs. Thank you for keeping the stream alive. I'm not gonna stream tomorrow. I have uh, things to do and also videos to edit. So I will see you guys on Friday for peace long. Hi Alex, thank you for clocking in. Dude, you're how late? You're so fucking late. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm not going to stream tomorrow, but if you want something to watch when I'm gone, uh, go watch every single one of my YouTube videos. They're like the stream, but like the good bits. Watch every single video tomorrow and write an essay. I expect it on my desk Friday morning. And if you want something to watch, if you want something to watch right now, no YouTube video! I took the Brad's R questionnaire, which is an ASD autism screening questionnaire. Watch it, it's a good video. I, I talk about good things. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm so- Dude, I started crashing in the final 30 minutes. I think it's like- It's like a marathon? I've never run a marathon, what am I talking about? It's like- You get so excited when you see the finish line, and then you sprint, and then you trip. That's like how I feel right now. Oh, you know what I realized? I didn't drink a lot of water today. I was- I only drank half my 40 ounce. Uh-oh. I usually- during these longer streams, I usually guzzle like one and a half of my cups. But I, I only had half. Uh-oh. I'll be fine. I'll just- I'll just chug. If you guys want somebody to watch Scootish is live! He's playing Mario Kart! And nobody else I know is live. The only reason why I don't, like, raid into Scootish anymore is because they make a lot of adult jokes. So, only go to Scootish's chat if, like, you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> they make too many C-O-M-E jokes. One time I did a tally and there was, like, 20. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys on Friday. Enjoy the rest of your night. And I will see you all then... Thank you for watching. Legit, I'm really surprised I like sticky business more than I thought I did. Okay, bye for real. <laughs>